Hello, hello, Danger Noodles. Oh, god damn it, it's Black Oh, there it goes. Uh, I am playing <coughs> Tartarus Key, a game recommended to, by one of my friends. Apparently, okay, stream seems to be doing good so far. Also, I was going to mention, it, you could probably try, like, turning down the Discord stream quality if the issues start propping up again. There. Because, like, right now it says that it's at Nitro streaming quality, uh, 1440p 60 frames per second. That seems a touch excessive. So if it starts slowing down on the other stream, try turning the stream down. Hitting a new game. Oh, there's a guy on my computer. There's always guys on my computer. Are they naked or not naked? Yes. <laughs> oh, I have boobs. Women. What? Why is that your why is that your first thing? <laughs> Do you really want to question that after what I said last night that I sent you DMs? I don't even remember what you sent me. It's all like it's... you're you're fucking one track perverted bullshit just blends together into nothingness in my brain. It's the breast milk business thing. Uh, <laughs> you forgot about it, now you remember. We can, we can just, like it's possible, to just not <laughs> immediately sexualize everything, okay? <laughs> That's a thing that we can do. <laughs> Anyways. What? Where am I? I'm in Hatch's basement. My basement looks nothing. Fuck. What's what's going on? My head is killing me. Last thing I remember, I was at home and ugh, I, I I wait. Where am I? What is this place? I don't know if it was sexualized exactly. More head capitalism applied to it severely. Lols as fuck. Uh, <laughs> Hello? Hello? Nobody's here. Okay, okay, okay. Breathe, Alex. You can, and we'll freak out later. <laughs> I like this girl. <laughs> right now, you have to find out what's going on. Oh wow, sensitivity sen mouse sen sen sensitivity is great. Mouse sensit sensitivity. Shut up. Oh. Oh, I got a walkie talkie. Hello? Anyone there? Oh man, is this thing broken? Oh, this is another person. Alright. What 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 voice should they have? I mean, it kinda looks like a woman's silhouette. Kinda. Yeah. Hey, what the fuck are you? <laughs> you behind this? What? Hello? This a joke? Because I'm not laughing. And neither will you when I get out of out of here. My daddy owns like five guns. <laughs> well, well, I just woke up here. We we're in the same boat, I think. Let's say I believe you. 
what's your story? Who are you? Oh, we got choices. My name's Alex. You first bitch. Who are you? <laughs> I don't know. I, I'd, I'd, I'd say just say your name's Alex. Yeah. My name's Alex. My story is that I'm in an office. <laughs> I love that story. Yeah. One I've never seen before. Last thing I remember, I was at home and I woke up, found this walkie talkie, and now we're talking. Their short range radio. What? <laughs> My character gets pissed off. I don't care what they are. I'm this close to a full blown freak out. Who are you? What is this? <clears throat> okay, okay. Right. Listen to me. I need you to take a second and breathe. Oh my god. Freaking out isn't going to help anyone. My name is... Horus? Torres or something oh. like that. Or Okay, give me a second. I need to check something. Are you going to check how to say that name? <laughs> Anyways, how's it going, Bookworm? Also, Bookworm, there's no need to tell hat shit everything I said during that stream. Doing all right. A little tired from uh, an early day today. Ah. Uh, oh, okay. That's what I was getting confused with. Torres is a Latin American, or my understanding of is a uh, not Latin American, but uh latino uh surname but it's also remarkably similar to the word taurus t o r u s which is the shape a donut is so it's about to ask if this person is a donut <laughs> also give me a sec i think i just <laughs> Bookworm says, nah, we can let it be in yesterday. It might break Hatch's brain even more. I don't need this. <laughs> uh, um, my supper is ready, so I'm going to read these lines and then go grab it. Fair yeah, enough. I know! Okay. Uh, my name is Torres. I'm a P.I. Stands for private investigator. Oh my god. I was thinking piss instructor. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> okay, I'll be okay, I'll be I'll be back. Alright. A private investigator? Thank God. So you know what's going on, right? So we can get out of here. The answer is no, we're not allowed to leave Bookworm. How dare you lock me and Hatchet in the basement? How dare you, Bookworm? What did we ever do to you? Oh 
I'm not fucking god. I got all the tastiest on top. <laughs> <laughs> headsets back on i told i said that bookworm was the one who locked us both in the basement and, and book and said we just want to leave bookworm said you dared try to leave now he'll never leave what it doesn't matter now you're trapped in the basement with me how do you feel <laughs> and I just leave the phone with my Discord call. <laughs> Bitch. Oh shit. I I saw clicked out a game and clicked it. They said I was starting to put the pieces together. That was their line. I'm starting to put the pieces together. <laughs> so in other words. You have no idea. It means I have some idea, right? I was working a case for an anonymous client. Sounds like something out of a movie. <laughs> Usually it is, but a stack of cash... Usually... <laughs> Usually it is. Stack of cash convinced me to at least give it a look. Turns out someone they knew had gone missing. Oh no. Figured it was the usual deal. Someone just decided to walk away from their old life. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. Happens all the time, but it didn't add. And it started to started a lot of similarities with some old cold cases I pulled out. I, I mean, shared, not started. <laughs> it's wrong with me. Well, you're locked in the basement not... with me, so that's one of the things. You're, you're not yourself when you're hungry, and I have wontons right in front of me just waiting to be eaten. But instead, I'm reading some stupid bullshit for some weirdo bird. <laughs> Fuck you. I thought I was just being paranoid. I'm hungry. <laughs> but it looks like there's something bigger going on. Putting that aside, all the speculation in the world won't matter if we can't get out of these rooms. You're trapped too? Looks like. Same deal as you sounds like. Oh, wait a minute. We're in an escape room. Our We're going to be here for hours. Oh. Oh, no. Well, at least I'll have time to eat. <laughs> A locked door and no apparent way out. Not the first time I've been in a situation like this. What the f- what? Wait, what? You're just gonna drop that into casual conversation. Oh, yeah, I've been- I've been trapped in some random room before. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was called it's an prison. Tuesday. What the fuck? That's not what prison is. It's not your first time. Keep a cool head. Take a look around. There has to be a way out. See what you can find. I'll do the same. Okay. Okay. Just stay in touch, okay? New information may lead okay. to, to optional conversations. Uh, wait a minute. There's a window there. 
and there's hard things around. Found the exit. It's impossibly dark, can't see much. Is that a forest in the distance? No roads, cars, or anything. Must be in the middle of nowhere. Either way, again, there's hard things around. Those are windows. <laughs> That's your exit. We also don't know how high up we are. Well, then break your legs, you bitch. This is the couch I woke up on, and it and it looks old-fashioned, but it seems like like it's brand new. Hmm. <laughs> Just shushy. The oh, England. it's a brand new. The England postcard. Postcard oh, no. from England added to inventory. <laughs> Apparently, that's an item I need. Alaska postcard. Oh. Alaska. So I guess you gotta look for postcards. Japan postcard. Oh, I found a safe. Oh, someone left a mess. You just now noticed that? No. Oh, I've got a key. I've got a drawer key. Oh, Hawaii. Oh. Oh, I was guessing it was going to contain the journals that explain what's on the outside of the walls. <laughs> Empty. Someone had a good time. Or a re really bad time. <laughs> yes, alcoholism. The key I've got fits. Journal page. That's normal. Oh, spooky! They used a pentagram! Ooh! Whoa, these books look old. Like, I shouldn't even breathe on them old. Maybe you should get that fucking candle away from them. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Looks like a lot of Latin, some French. You can recognize those, that? What? Even, is that Greek? Oh, I can talk to her. It said, oh my, it said on the screen multiple times that you can press Q to talk to her. Oh, well. <laughs> I don't think oh. I've ever seen so many books outside a library. It's going to take forever to search through them all. If I'm right, you won't. <laughs> They're likely just props. Props? Set dressing. Trying to make this place look real. What the f- You don't think this is a real mansion? I think it's a real mansion, just not one anyone has ever actually lived in. Where- Where are you getting these conclusions? <laughs> And how many mansions? How how many mansions do you know of have never had someone living in them? Ah, <laughs> uh, I already hate this person. This place, it's almost theoretical, like my brain. <laughs> Combine that with the. With the cameras, wait. Wait a minute. Cameras. What cameras? <laughs> what? Are you saying you think we're entertainment? I think so. Uh... But why? That's sick. I don't know, and I agree. For now, all we can do is keep pushing forward. Oh, so so we we're just not going. To get, huh? So we're just not going to get an explanation about why they just randomly bring up fucking cameras. 
Okay, so there is a fucking camera. Mm-hmm. We haven't seen the fucking camera. Okay. Candles have been burning down for a while. That's it. <laughs> it's just not move the candle. It's just, it's just been there for a while. <laughs> Security camera? Wait, is it following me? The fucking... Yeah. You, like, there's a fucking candle next to a whole bunch of books in a mm-hmm. small confined room that you don't have an exit out of. Mm-hmm. And you don't move the candle. Yep. You have the survival instincts of a tardigrade. <laughs> so... Does your green room also have a camera tracking your every move? Yes. First thing I noticed. Someone wanted to watch us. Fantastic. This keeps getting better. And that's it. Smile for the camera. You're now a VTuber. Some objects have hidden details on the back. Press the E key to flip the object. Okay. I know it's unorthodox, but it's safe. Oh, wait. Seven pillars. They're essential. Someone's underlined the word seven and noted seven, but what's the order? Okay. One, seven, one. Three. See three right there. Mm -hmm. Seven, one, three. And four. Wait, what is this thing? Oh! Look! They're in order! Okay, so... Uh, okay, so this got one. is England right here. So seven is first. My question is, do we have all the postcards? Uh, let's see. We have, oh, or do we one. have, or is, are those extra locations on list just red herrings? It could be. We could try it, because there is a safe right there where you have to put a number code in. Yeah. So we got England, Alaska, Japan, and Hawaii. So it's... It would be England... Japan, Hawaii, Japan, Alaska. Japan, Alaska. Okay, so... So, seven's England, first. Seven. Japan. Uh, Japan is Japan three. Is next. Seven, three... And this is Alaska. Alaska's last. Oh, Alaska's one. Okay, so... Seven, three... Four. Four. One. Seven, Seven, three, four, one. Seven, three, four, one. We can try that. It's like, I'll need to keep going. No point in trying to guess it. Oh, yeah, it's four. Seven, three, four, one. Boom. Yeah! They were red herrings. Alright, let's get the Sneaky f- little bitches. Yep. Okay, time to get get out of here. I've had a thought. Yeah. About how my room is empty. No puzzles and nothing blocked. Nothing out of place. Except for this radio. Okay. Why would they give us a way to talk to each other? Give me a way to help you. Because your only way out is me? You have to guide me to you? I'm... word the puzzle. Precisely. Let me cool. collect my... <laughs> yeah. 
Cool, no pressure. You made it out of the office. How the fuck do they know that? I'm... Hmm. We didn't my say first that. Yeah, my first assumption would be that, like, you got into the walkie-talkie to mention that, but yeah. I know that together we can solve this. I hope you're right. And by her not noticing that she just, like, knew that you got out, that implies that, like, oh. she, like, you had to her. Okay, before we start this, uh, oh shit, 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 I accidentally skipped the line, oh well. <laughs> Okay, but I'll just sit here and eat. Uh, it's, um, Dream, you better be entertained by just hearing me munch on wontons. How you been, Bookworm? I I know I'm not doing a mukbang. Uh, what was I gonna say? Right, is is like the stream coming through all right on your end? I'm doing well. The Oh, I guess you probably wouldn't... I don't know if you would know this. Basically, the uh, new computer I got, it came with a really... Uh, it, it, it doesn't have, like, integrated Wi-Fi capabilities, so it needs a separate dongle that's plugged into the USB, right? And... Jesus. That's not Jesus... Are you fuck? What? Huh? It's just summoning a huh? demon out of Busta. Uh, okay, so basic. Basically, um, the uh the USB Wi-Fi adapter that the thing came with was a massive uh piece of cheap shit, and it fucking fried, like, within a couple days of use, so I had to buy a new one, along with just getting some replacements for some of the really trash stuff that it came with that was just, like, the cheapest I have no idea if you heard this stuff. It, it heard like, it, it, it heard. It sounded like you were summoning a demon. <laughs> yeah, that's what the sounds like when he plays. <laughs> Like, I, I'm just casually talking to Book about my technical difficulties, and then it's just... <laughs> coming from your mic. <laughs> I heard Brave you Morton Busta, I think, says Book. Oh, okay. On my end, it got really bad. And it's like... Oh, what was I gonna say? Right. You, you better you better supply sufficient amount of sacrifices of belly rubs to the Busta. Oh, let's come here. Let's come here. Want to give me one moment? Let's come here. All right. They can hear you. Speak to Busta. Busta, execute order sixty six. Do it, Busta. Execute order 66. Oh, Busta didn't want to hear anymore. He took the headphones off. <laughs> Busta knows what to do. <laughs> right, go Busta's back. a good agent. <laughs> 
I really not. I'm just I'm just sitting here eating bonk bonk. So I think what you skipped was something to the tune of, like, I've been thinking someone going through all the trouble of kidnapping people, and then now it's onto this. And designing elaborate puzzles for them to solve? Like, what's the point? In a case like this, I'd say ego. Someone clearly has a lot of time and influence. Okay. Why is music kick kicking in now? Mm. Possibly even money to do some. What do you mean, possibly even money? You need a lot of money to do this shit. <laughs> uh, possibly even money to do something that's elaborate. Money's like the first thing you're going to need. This is capitalism. Yeah. People don't usually go to such drastic lengths just to kill someone. <laughs> Have we picked up that they want to kill us? Right? Yes. This is by far one of the most rational elements that this person has brought up thus far, and that's what you have the issue with? <laughs> I mean, it could be worse. Generally speaking, when someone is abducted, one of the most common motivations is to kill said person for whatever reason. Anyway. Not when... Anything else will do. I'm not a gun, your bare hands. What? Why the fuck am I lifting off potential ways to kill people? Zonju says, Taurus key? I'm a Taurus. Am I the key? <laughs> Maybe. Even your teeth. You ever I... tried firing through someone's trachea? It's not easy. Yeah. I get the extremely vivid picture. Well, point being, someone clearly has an objective here. I also think they're making a statement, you know, showing off. Hmm. What about those? What about these postcards? From the room you woke up in. What about? Them? I don't know. They're just weird. It sounds like someone was researching something, but we didn't even read them. Yeah, it's almost as if you should be reading the things that you're picking up in an escape room, you idiot. <laughs> we just looked, the, saw the numbers and did the puzzle. <laughs> That's it. I was trying to read them. Oh. But, uh, they also seem sort of paranoid. Could be just set dressing, you know, faming. Uh... I mean, look at this place. It's dramatic in the extreme. Uh... What? It just looks like a normal mansion. <laughs> Yeah, but it's a dramatic mansion. Don't question me. <laughs> Mansions are dramatic. <laughs> I guess we'll probably never know who CW was, huh? We should be worrying about ourselves before anyone else. All right, so let's look at them and oh, never mind. <laughs> oh. It, they just all got deleted from your inventory the second you left the room. White bottle, pick up. I got a bottle of cum. <laughs> uh. An absolutely ancient rotary phone. Doesn't work, of course. I didn't think it would be that easy. 
How did you? How did you pronounce the word rotary? Rotary. <laughs> Ro rotary. What an interesting rotary phone. Hey, there's a phone here, but it's dead. Hair tell. It's hollow on the inside. Wait a minute. This is contradictory. She said she was. She had nothing in her room, but the radio. And now she's saying she has a phone. Also, I'd suggest we just say they. We don't actually know who this person is. Yeah. But that is contradictory. It kind of seems like it, yeah. Thing, and we were asking, like, for standout things, so... Maybe to this person a prop phone isn't that standout. Fair. It's just a... <laughs> It's just a prop designed to give you a hub. You think they put that much thought into it? Alex, the cameras, the design of the rooms, the puzzles. Every part of this place feels designed with purpose. Even if that purpose is gifts, give some rich maniac their jollies. What? What? You don't like my language? <laughs> We're the actors, and somewhere there's an audience. Oh, that's creepy. I find I'm angrier. I'm angrier than I am a friend. Getting there. An antique face, not a single ru rupee in <laughs> its side. Nice. You know that reference, right? No, I, I have no idea. What the reference about rupees and vases could be referring to. Oh, I got a bottle of blood. A broken clock. <laughs> a broken clock. <laughs> Reminds me of a case I worked while. What? Back before I was a PI, I was a police officer. Oh, real life cop story. Wait, I always wondered, can a PI actually arrest someone? I would imagine it'd be like something along the lines of a citizen's arrest. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> I don't know the ins and outs of it, but yeah. Right. Ever heard of the infamous clock killer? Not to be confused with that clock killer. I'm immediately filled with regret. Clocks kept turning up at crime scenes. There was death in the street. Strangulation by pocket watch. Rushing by giant ornamental claw. Oh, I actually looked it up real quick. A PI cannot arrest someone. Huh. But they can provide the evidence to police officers due to arrest. But they cannot arrest. Hmm. All right. They also can't carry guns. There's no way that's consistent. Yeah. <laughs> if this is America, they 100% can carry guns. Right. 
I'm pretty sure it's more speaking well, like I get, I get. a cop can't a cop can have an assault rifle, but the PI can't. Like they have like a handgun or something. Uh, there's so many things wrong with that statement, but whatever. I was trying to say like guns that police can have that citizens can't have. That's what I was trying to get at. Well, I mean, in America, you know, yeah. most guns citizens can have. Actually, in my state, most assault rifles are straight up banned. You cannot have them. Mm. In fact, there's. Wonder how that's being. Huh? Wonder how that's being defined. I think it's more like if it's like a, a full on full auto, you're not allowed to have it. But it's like uh, from our first, but it's a semi auto, it's fine. Yeah, that keeps most of what are typically called assault rifles being legal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another thing is, if there's a gun that's out of date, not being sold anymore, you're also not literally allowed to have it. It has, it has unless you constantly register it. <laughs> I guess fuck antique collectors. Yeah. <laughs> there's literally. That is one of the stupidest. Reg Why would they do that? I don't know. Like. Like, I think it's fair to say, uh, book says Virginia being more liberal despite being considered Southern. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that That is true. But, <laughs> I mean, Virginia is pretty consistently the most liberal Southern yeah. state. <laughs> yeah. Or like, quote unquote, Southern state. But, um, what the fuck was I going to say? About the guns. Yeah, like, I think it's fair if we, like, have some amount of uh, restrictions on people just collecting, like, hundreds of firearms randomly. But, like, if a gun is out of manufacture, why specifically focus on making it harder to have those guns. Right. Uh, also, here's another thing. There's actually Man. one type of weapon that you don't have to register to have in my state. Uh, went walk? A Civil War cannon. <laughs> it's basically just a really big flint lock if you think about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can have one of those. But here's the thing. Why? You, you can't have cannonballs because it's considered explosives. You can have the cannon, what? but not cannonballs. <laughs> Most cannonballs are just solid metal. Here's the thing. If they like, if they find you have cannonballs, they'll <laughs> they'll call the uh, bomb squad <laughs> and break into them. Like, there's, like, well, I guess Civil War, so, come to think of it, Civil War, they probably would have had, like, yeah. proper ordnance. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess that is fair. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm thinking older cannons. Like, when cannons first started being used, they were basically just shooting chunks of metal. Yeah, the reason why I know cannons are allowed to have is because my school had a cannon. The Civil War cannon <laughs> just outside on the front lawn. <laughs> the worst part is it wasn't like pointed like towards the woods or anything. It was pointed towards the road. <laughs> so if someone <laughs> were to get a cannonball. <laughs> well, let's just be frank. That thing's old enough mm -hmm. that like if you were to fire it, it would probably uh, misfire and quite possibly kill the operator. Yeah. Yeah. Though something similar, something similar, I don't remember exactly what kind it is, but outside of my town's, uh, 
local bar. Yeah. It's like an American yeah. thing. They have like, I think a World War II vintage mortar cannon. Yeah. Yeah. Just, you know, it, it don't it don't work no more. But it's there and it's cool and it like you don't want to mess with it, uh, because its barrel is the ideal place for wasp's nest. Oh no. I feel bad for those wasps as some sat son of a bitch decides to fire it. Oh yeah. Alright, last thing before we continue with the game. In order to have a sword in in the in Virginia, not only do you have to pay for the sword, but you also have to pay for a permit to have it. Like you would get a permit for a gun, you have to get a permit for a sword. You have to get a permit. <laughs> Metal. Yeah. Oh. Like, I'm generally all right with certain types of like weapons uh, regulations. Problems. Like, I'm normally fine with regulations on, like, especially, like, firearms. Mm -hmm. I think that that's reasonable in a lot of cases. But... <laughs> Fucking sword. <laughs> who? Like, does Virginia have a rampant <laughs> fucking crusader problem? Like, like, is there a rampant bunch of assholes that run around chopping people up randomly with swords? What's the precedent for this? I think... I think that was mainly put in place, if I remember correctly, it was put in place where the bunny man, you know, and, and like, people, uh, copycat, copycat killers and other killers were being rampant and using melee weapons like hatchets. Oh yeah, you also have to have permit for a hatchet, like, weapon-wise. Alright, so I'm not going to Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you. The second you say four, it's like, where's your permit? <laughs> well, you need to have a permit to exist. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think. Then again, like, that's basically. Yeah. Then again, that's basically just existing as a trans person right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, I just thought about. It how bad it would be for a Texas person to come to Virginia. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> like... <laughs> there being a bunch of copycat killers... Yeah. ...that are using an antiquated weapon... That shouldn't mean we ban sharp pieces of metal. <laughs> like, uh, like there's the same sort of like weird ass regulations that I've seen from uh, there's there's a YouTuber I watch called a uh, Skullgrim who lives up in Canada and. Uh, He's a sword collector, and he practices HEMA, uh, historical European uh, martial arts, using swords. And he's done some videos talking about how, like, a lot of Canadian regulations on weapons are just the stupidest fucking shit. And one of them is nunchucks. And he demonstrates how stupid this is by, you know, reading out the description of, like, how it's defined. So it's two long pieces of solid material connected via rope or chain. And then what Skull did is he then took two wrenches, took a simple, like, piece of chain with, like, uh... Was it like one of those keychain clips for your belt on either end? Just attached those. 
Oh. He's just that easily made what is considered an illegal weapon. When you're regulating something that is that absurdly easy to create, all you're actually doing is hurting, like, hobbyists. Like, that's all you actually hit. Because if someone wants to make nunchucks and use them to hurt people, they can just make them with a couple of wrenches. Like, it's not hard to do. Yeah. There's... Uh... Yeah. Alright, so, I can't say this live on stream, and I, both Gorm and Hatchet do not repeat it. But you'll understand why when I send it to you in DMs. Okay. For good reason. <laughs> ah. I see. Yeah, you you Fun. see why I can't say anything. <laughs> uh. Anyways, let's continue. <laughs> Virginia's fucking weird. I mean, it's not the weirdest state. I mean, yeah, it's not the weirdest, and it's not the <laughs> stupidest, but it's it's got its own, yeah. like, brand of weird. Yeah. Or, like, naming a bridge after a sealer killer. I mean, that's not, like, that's not even particularly odd. It's not even the actual, like, name of the bridge. It's just, like, like what people call it. Yeah, but it is a really pretty, pretty creepy place to visit because a lot of the area around it is just like covered in vegetation and dead looking. I was gonna say, isn't it like I've seen pictures? Isn't it fucking overgrown with kudzu? Yeah, I've been there. I've seen the houses and they look abandoned, covered in kudzu. That's near it. Yeah, I wonder why they're abandoned. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do if your house, like, like you leave a house for like a year to go travel the world? You come back, the entire thing's fucking covered in kudzu. What do you do? <laughs> right. You just pack up and leave. Like you don't have much of an option. It's either that or acquire a flamethrower. <laughs> are those? Are those legal in your state? I actually don't know. Anyway, while you read your lines, I'll look that up. <laughs> Yeah. Once we even found a victim impaled on a sundial. <laughs> this is. I forgot we were talking about clock murderers. <laughs> yeah. Switch from the uh, person who dressed like the Easter Bunny killing people to clock murderers. <laughs> this is insane. How have I never heard about this? Especially that last one. You think that would be big news? I wouldn't blame you for missing it. No, they're prohibited. Okay. At least that's kind of reasonable. Wait, they only became prohibited in 2006. So before that... You could. Why did it take? <laughs> Why did it take them that long to say, "Hey, maybe we should make it so that citizens shouldn't have access to weaponry that has been illegal in warfare for decades?" <laughs> but this is America. We're all about breaking fucking engaging in war crimes as long as it's on our own soil. No one can get, can get mad at us. Why are you whining, Buster? Because Buster wants a flamethrower. He might hear people downstairs or something. That's usually why he whines. Buster's whining because Buster wants a flamethrower and he can't have one. They probably didn't think about it before then, and it might not have been as easily accessible to civilians, says Book. I mean, that's... I mean, I guess that's the other thing. 
flamethrowers are fairly easy contraptions to make. Yeah, you just get like a can of bug spray and a match. <laughs> yeah, like like it just takes some flammable solvent or fuel <laughs> pumped out at high pressure into a flame. Yeah. Like it's, it's not that hard to make. Yeah. Anyway, this stream does not in any way condone the manufacturing <laughs> of bootleg flamethrowers. Uh, don't do that. Especially not in garages. Or sheds. No, it's a very <laughs> bad idea. In fact, like, it's probably just going to end up getting you killed. <laughs> yeah. This This isn't Resident Evil 7, okay? Hmm. Oh. oh yeah crossbows i i believe are banned unless you have a permit in virginia but you can have bow and arrow without a permit what uh. <laughs> crossbows are significantly harder <laughs> to use for the average person like, it requires extra equipment if it's anywhere on the level of, like, the same draw strength as a bow. Yeah, the reason why I know that is because when I went for out for archery team, I had to get my own bow. I went there, paid for it, didn't have to get a permit. Uh, like, a miner could actually buy a bow and arrow. Why? I... Do, do, did, do they prohibit crossbows just because they're shaped more like guns? Is Probably. that their rationale? Probably. Like... <laughs> what? Like, literally, the only people... Like, there's, there's only two groups of people that you're hitting with that regulation. Hunters and hobbyists. Those are the two groups. Mm -hmm. And hunters most likely aren't going to be using crossbows that often. So it's probably just hobbyists. Why? <laughs> Why? Is there, like, some precedent for, like, Virginian teens to go out, buy a crossbow, and start mash... killing their neighbors with crossbows? <laughs> like, why... Why are you regulating this? I've actually looked this up in the past. Um, but it's funny how there's no regulation for handguns, because 95% of murders that happen in Virginia are for results of handguns. The other 5% is, like, from knives or melee weapons. So crossbows don't even fit in there. <laughs> One of the most reasonable firearms to have some amount of regulation on tends to be hand handguns because they are statistically speaking the most commonly used in criminal activity right yeah. but you don't regulate the handguns you regulate <laughs> fucking millennia old <laughs> weaponry that takes like, at the very least, a minute or two between shots to fire, and is a cumbersome mess compared to every weapon that exists now. Oh yeah, I actually remember that I, I heard uh, when I went to visit a museum from, like, Revolutionary War stuff. Um, yeah. They actually had to get permits for the rifles. You know those ones that take forever to load? Ah uh, yes, let's regulate muskets. <laughs> yeah. Cause that's that's what's causing issues in our society. The the rampant musket users. <laughs> like with guns that are that old. <laughs> You are disadvantaging 
<laughs> no one but hobbyists, and in this case, fucking museums. <laughs> what is the goddamn point? I, I, I heard it says, like, they were upset about it. They said the only reason they had to get a permit was because the guns work. <laughs> Can you feasibly shoot a small lead ball out of this tube? Yes? You need a permit for it. Can you reasonably shoot multiple rounds out of this small tube? Yes? Oh, well, that's fine. We're not going to regulate that. But the fucking one to three minute reload speed ancient ass gun. Yeah, that's what we're concerned about. Yeah, Can it shoot a little lead ball? Well, better regulate it. Yeah. The only thing I think about um, with the handguns, I think the only regulation it, it, there is is you have to be 21 and have a background check. That's it. There's like no paper defining to the gun except for who bought it. Like the I mean, it's a start. Yeah. Like, it's a start, but like, uh. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, at least it's like you have to be age 21. That's that's a start. Yeah, but um at, at age what? of 18 you can buy a uh, a rifle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I can see some rationale there vaguely. There's some rationale there because handguns are more concealable used more for criminal activity while <laughs> rifles while they're technically going to be more deadly they're harder to engage in criminal activity with because you can't conceal them well that said maybe we should just <laughs> not be giving 18 year olds access to deadly weaponry and wait until they're at least fucking 21 since <laughs> apparently states it's completely fine to go out and purchase a deadly weapon at the age of eight fucking dean but i can't go down and buy a bottle of wine at that age <laughs> yeah you want to hear the reason the, what? in the state of virginia for in order to get at 18 you have to confirm that you're only going to use it for hunting <laughs> Okay. Yeah, sure, that's... <laughs> I mean, there's also the background check, but still, you have to confirm you're oh, gonna use it for hunting. <laughs> Book says, but 18-year-olds can join the military hatchet, so we gotta do something about that, too. Well, <laughs> well you see, the answer, the answer, Bookworm, just don't have a fucking military. How about that? How about we just how about we just deconstruct the systems that require us to have this hellish imperialist machine? Anyway, this stream has gotten so fucking off track. Yeah, anyways, uh, how, did you read this hatchet? I don't know. My head hurts. I wouldn't blame you from this I got. Uh, I want to play Gartic Foam. I still say we need to, like, at some point during Spooky Month, we need to have, like, one or two games, or, like, one or two streams of Gartic Foam where it's just nothing but Spookies. Yeah. So, I wanted to see... Like, weird gun laws, like if I missed anything. The first thing I see that's apparently from- that is not enforced. No sexual relations for single people. <laughs> that Wait. used to be a law! <laughs> Search- Wait, so you searched about dumb gun laws, and you got stuff talking about dumb- timey conservative uh fucking <laughs> regulate your penis bullshit it's a class 4 misdemeanor hey 
right here. I have a permit to be railing that lady. <laughs> but anyway, the gun law that I did find that I forgot about. You can't, uh, only a radar gun is illegal. For anyone. A radar gun? Yes. Please? Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me go. Let me go to Google. <laughs> and double check that I know what this is. It's the gun that, that detects speed of a car. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> the love of all that is holy. Why <laughs> would you make a speed detecting tool illegal? <clears throat> what is the. Uh, it's li it's literally of no threat whatsoever. This, this would be like going down to like like you you go down to the store yeah and you and and you find that it has now been made illegal to own marshmallows. Yeah. What? Because only cops can know how fast you're going and enforce that. Uh, that's why. Yeah. It's oh. so stupid. There's actually one law that's stupid that's, uh, that, that, that is enforced still. You are not allowed to hunt raccoons. I mean, I have less of a problem with that. <laughs> raccoons are cute. They're just doing their thing, okay? Yeah. I actually saw a video of a raccoon trying to eat cotton candy, but since they wash everything they eat, it could get melting in the water. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> yes. Poor, poor little raccoon. Yeah, that's a weird thing about raccoons. They wash everything they eat. <laughs> They fucking evolved that thing that it took humans <laughs> ages to figure out was a good idea. Yeah. Uh. Anyways, let's continue and stop talking about the stupid gun laws of my state. <laughs> and I thought radar like, guns. Yeah, and I thought Texas gun laws were weird. <laughs> well, Texas gun laws are, like, bad in, like, the reverse <laughs> way. They're bad because they just, like, oh, you want to own a fucking tank gun? Go right ahead, buddy. We don't <laughs> give a shit. But no, these are weird gun laws because it's just, like, the stupidest people imaginable are putting up red tape around the least threatening things imaginable. Yeah. While not doing that with the act like with the firearms that are actually of concern. Oh yeah, I also meant to say this. There's actually be uh, because it hasn't been sold in stores yet, but there's no regulation towards having a, a hand cannon, if you know what that is. <laughs> I think I know what that is. Isn't that like like one of the earliest versions of a firearm? Yeah, it's like really high powered. Like where the bullet like like burst on impact on the person's body. That's why it's called like a hand cannon. Oh, I think we're thinking of something different. I'm thinking of like yeah, like literal hand cannons from like the 1400s. No, no, no. no. It's like a, a it's like a pistol, but the bullet is fired so fast that when it hits a person's body, it explodes on impact. Yeah. So you're talking like. Like a really high caliber pistol. Yeah, technically the military yeah. is only supposed to have it, but there's no regulations for Virginia about it. Uh, Anyways, let's stop delaying this game. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> the only scary thing happening here is Virginia gun laws. <laughs> now let's now wait until uh, here's the real here's the real thing. Wait until Virginia 
gun lawmakers find out that there are like two or three hunting grade airsoft rifles. Oh god. Which are actually like just really cool weapons in general. They're really cool. Like like it's nothing but compressed air, but you can put a like fucking fifty cal sized hole into something as long as you're not too yeah. far away. Oh there's also another set of weapons that don't have regulations. Laser weapons. I have less issue with that because, like, <laughs> like we don't really have any practical laser weapons that are consumer gray. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, okay, sure. <laughs> so, anyways, let's stop the line today. I got you to your next know. line. I don't know. I'm. S I don't know. I feel. I feel like this is good content. You know. <laughs> Ambling about stupid fucking regulations. I'm probably just gonna cut the Virginia gun law thing and make it into like an extra. <laughs> like an extra video? Yeah. It's... This is of me breaking down. Yeah. Hatchet versus Virginia yeah. gun laws. Uh. Radar. Uh okay. Okay. It it took us years to realize it was it was even the same person. The most punctual serial killer I've ever had the pleasure of putting behind. <laughs> oh. You. I don't like this. Are a fountain of all the worst knowledge. <laughs> Damn, and that's it. Hey, we just got a conversation. <laughs> I just said Salter. Okay, I'll look for more of those uh, bottles. Oh, there we go. So I have a feeling that goes to like the next clue. Oh, bottle oh, stand. Got bottle stands. Okay, so we might picked as well up four here. bottles, I think. Yeah. Did I? And there's five. Yeah, there's five. So we're missing one. Oh, is that it right there? No, it would have showed up something. Spray can it filled with knickknacks. Nothing jumps out as useful. Oh, never mind then. So we gotta find one more before we. Go after it. The black bottle. There we go. Alright, so now we... I have a feeling the answer's oh, yeah, in this. This cord stream is having some issues. There. Oh. I my game crashed for a second. Oh. That's not good. Yeah. Humorism. The humoral theory or humoralism was a system of medicine to Detailing a supposed makeup of, and workings of the human body adopted by ancient Greek and Roman physicians and philosophers. How about these? Yeah, the four humors of Hippocratic medicine are black bile, yellow bile, phlegm, and blood. Phlegm. Phlegm, okay. Okay, so we got black, yellow, whatever the third one is, and red. Uh, phlegm is probably white. Ah. Each corresponds to one of the traditional four temperaments. The proper blending of balance of the four humors was known as... Eucrasia? I mean, that's how I would pronounce that, so... While science has since moved far past these ancient beliefs, rooted in a primitive misunderstanding of how the universe works, there was still those that believe there is a certain truth to these old teachings. After all, what truly makes up a man? Are we not all the sum of our parts, our bodies merely flesh and blood and meat? A physician named Duncan MacDougall 
uh, theorized that the soul had physical weight, 21 grams in fact. Does that not imply the soul itself could also be a substance present in the body? Something that could not be seen, uh, something that could be seen, felt, perhaps even extracted? Such ideas seem flights to a uh, fancy, to be sure, but the possibilities are endless. So, okay, let's see. So, it was black, black, yellow, white, red. Oh, uh, yeah, I know I had heard that name. Pretty sure Duncan Hood McDougal. Yeah, it was an actual kind of fucking quack that tried to demonstrate that you could measure a soul leaving the body. Wait. Wait, hold on. I got green in here. Yeah. I guess green will be last? Maybe. White. Red. And green. Oh. Yeah, it was green. Huh. Thanks. It was last. Okay, there we go. Wow, we these puzzles are a lot easier than I thought they would be. <laughs> this is also the very beginning of the game. Yeah, watching it so hit so hard that I just rage quit. <laughs> anyway, got it. Alex two creepy ass house zero. <laughs> okay. Oh. I made it out of the room. I'm in the hallway. God, that's progress. <laughs> I just see Booker's message. No, a man is made up of a miserable pile of secrets. I can see. Ah. There's a boarded up door covered in blood. I'm pretty sure blood doesn't look black. Unless it's I mean, been there for very long. Yeah, like if, if it's like oxidized and aged, I could imagine it. Though my, like, seeing that, my first assumption wouldn't be that it's covered in blood. Yeah, I was thinking like more like ink, maybe? Yeah, or paint. Or paint, yeah, that's Rawr. it. Excuse me. We were bound to see some blood eventually. Kidnapping doesn't usually have a happy ending. Well, damn. I mean, it's the truth. Yeah. Unless... <laughs> it zoomed in on your character moving her lips just so that it could go dot, dot, dot. Yeah. Well, unless you're in a Disney movie, does kidnapping have a good ending? We're gonna move on. <laughs> the important, the important thing is that it isn't our blood. Just keep it that way. Don't go gutting yourself right here in the middle of the hall. That'd or be bad a for period. business. Why yeah. do you like this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. I can hear something. I think it's your voice. You must be close. I'll knock on my door. Try to follow the sound. Wouldn't that also attract the killer? Right. Yeah. Have you forgotten everything about our situation? No. You woke up in a room with a camera, and I've been moving through other rooms with cameras. Whoever did this already knows exactly where we are. True. 
We have no information to assume that there's like some other actor involved that is a killer and is looking to kill us randomly. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Busty hears dog barking from downstairs. Oh no. Yeah, there's actually a reason I didn't mention this. There's a reason how I'm separating Brody and Buddy at the moment. Uh, uh not Brody, Buddy, Brody and Busta at the moment. Sorry, that's a different dog. Brody, because yeah. Busta likes play biting on the mouths, which is fine with Buddy because his mouth is a lot tougher. But Brody's really soft and thin, and he can bleed easily from being bit. Yeah. So, yeah. So, bust the yeah, cat Brody. Fair. Be alone with Brody. Yeah. It's not that I, yeah. I would think he would hurt huh. Brody intentionally. Well, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, of course. Anyway. When I was younger. When I was younger, I was a very large person compared to every other kid in my class, and I was very frequently known to just accidentally stumble into and end up hurting someone, but everyone knew that I was never actually trying to hurt people. I'm just stupid. <laughs> and large. Yeah. This one time... I don't know why I just randomly think about this, but there was one time my neighbor and I were playing in their backyard, and they have one of those, like, uh, at-home jungle gym sets where there's a slide, and we're playing with Hot Wheels, and I, I go to I go to rocket a Hot Wheel up the slide, and they were just they they were they were sitting there, and I didn't think about it. Uh, they took a hot wheel to the forehead. Oh no! It it broke the skin. It was not. It was it was not fun. I'm pretty sure that's the last time we ever hung out. Yeah. Yeah. Another thing that I don't want. I the other thing I'm I'm separating them to, is I don't want Busta to, to taste dog blood. Uh. Okay. I don't know. I just heard like stories where basically when a dog tastes like human blood or dog blood, they get a bit more aggressive or something like that. It sounds like some absolute quackery. Yeah, I'll probably look it up later to see if it is or not. Yeah. Anyways. Like, I'm willing to guess almost every single dog has at some point tasted dog blood or human blood. Yeah. I feel like the bigger things are just how the animal is socialized oh, and yeah. trained. But yeah, anyway. Okay, I'm on it. Word up door covered in blood. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere near that. Oh, <laughs> I wonder which door it is. Damn. Also, Bright, um, you mind? Oh, Jesus Christ, that was loud all of a sudden. I was just going to say, you mind trying to turn down the uh, quality on the Discord stream? I feel like that might make it run better. All right. No, that's not what I wanted, damn it. I think I have to cut it off first. Oh, God damn it, I hit the wrong fucking button. <laughs> Wait, no, it was already set to 1440 as a resolution. 
yeah, that that's the issue. Should I put it like to 1080 or 720? Do 720. Yeah, like like because you're nitro, it defaults to like the highest fucking resolution setting. All right, there we go. Okay, let's see if that works better. Uh, it's about the same, but whatever. Yeah. Why do I get a bad feeling? Hey, can you hear me? Like, huddle at. Ah, finally. Almost there. Just to find a way to open the door. I'm gonna need you to hurry. Why the rush? You know, other than being kidnapped and trapped? I... I think I might have hit the door too hard. I've triggered some kind of trap. Oh, oh shit. Geez. The room is now filling with gas. <laughs> what? what? Alright, don't panic. The gas is coming through slowly. We've got some time. I'm going to get you out. Find a way, I swear. I believe in you, Alex. Just uh, keep a calm head. And don't bring a lighter in here. My life is in your hands. Yeah, there's, there's still some delay between X popping up for me to read. Oh, what and... the? Oh, we got letters. Here. <laughs> I'm guessing... Oh, wait. Is there... Oh! Oh! Turning mirror with some bloody marks on it. Hmm, they look purposely drawn. And something feels off about the reflection. I can't quite put my finger on it. Okay. It reveals. Haha! <laughs> got it! I knew it! It reveals. What reveals? I don't have time for this cryptic... Oh! What the? Um, it was a password. Wait. Wait, okay. Taurus, uh, Taurus, there, something weird is going on here. I mean, more weird. The reflection in the mirror isn't right. Isn't right? Yeah, it doesn't match up with, uh, real life. The reflection doesn't? Alex, you're not making sense. Look, a painting just fell down in the mirror, but it's still hanging up behind me. Okay, you need to check out that painting. On it. Apart from the subject matter, painting seems normal. Maybe there's something behind it. Y yeah, we know. Oh, the wallpaper's coming off here. Light's coming through a gap in the wood, and I hear coughing. Taurus, I might have found a way in. Just in time. Air, 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 air. Not good. The wall was falling apart behind the painting. There's a space and light behind it. I think this would line up with your room. You might be onto something. There's a vent on this side, but it doesn't lead anywhere. Sucks. But how are you breaking through a wall? 
Good question. I'm trying to pry the planks, but they're more solid than they look. Uh, I can't think straight. Uh, is there anything you could use? Not that I, I have can see. a crowbar see. in there? I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I don't know what to do. There's no way through, no way out. Alex, calm down. Look, they're messing with your head. I need you to pull yourself together. The minute you give up is the minute I'm dead. Oh. Dang. I'm trying, but... This is too much. I can't do anything. Um. Um. Uh. Um. Oh, God. Alex. Snap out of it. Stop feeling sorry for yourself and get me the hell out of here. I'm trying. You're just sitting staring at a sink. What the fuck? What? What's happening? I... I mean, it's moving. Uh, Alex? Alex! Hell no. Absolutely not. No way. Alex? What happened? I heard it. Change. Are you okay? This is insane. No, it, it it's impossible. My reflection, Damn it. huh? Damn it, girl! You have an axe now. Save your friend. Break out later. My reflection just moved on its own. Threw a damn axe at me through the mirror. Yar, what? You? Can I? Yeah, I'm kidding. Just a joke between friends and the old death house. There's a whole room back there. Looks just like this bathroom. Okay, give me a snack. Okay. Hey. See if that helps. Mm -hmm. Hello. Ah, right. Yes, Taurus. There's the axe. I'll take any miracles I can get. I'm coming, Taurus. Hold on. Damage hat hatchet added to inventory. It's part of I'm the not. <laughs> I'm not that damaged. Maybe I could smash through it using the hatchet. The hatchet would definitely be destroyed, though. It's risky. Well, no shit. Yes. Yeah, I'm going for it. Fingers crossed. You're what you're sacrificing me? I did not consent to this. Not, not bad. Uh, 
for a second I thought my ticket had been pulled. Thank you. Stop having the conversation in the gas room. Get out of the gas room, and then we talk. Right. Hey, hi. No time for a warm and fuzzy. Let's get out of here. We can squeeze back through the hole, and we'll... Gas stopped. What the hell? Ugh. Air. Ugh. You never know how much you'll miss something until it's gone. You okay? Nothing I can't handle. Good to finally meet you face to face. I have a lot to talk about, but... I would like to get the hell out of here first. Second. I saw two doors, one at the end of the hall, and the one that's boarded up, covered in blood. Let's start with the one not covered in blood. Leave that way. Also, do you like my wicked-ass scar? Wait, where's the hole in the wall? I guess that... Oh yeah, she mentioned there being a vent, so basically you... You hacked your way into the busted vent. Uh, she's not coming with me. Hey, that door is open. It definitely wasn't like that before. Okay. We move carefully. <laughs> no telling what we'll find. Okay, so... Listen, mm -hmm. hear me out for a second. Turn the corner a little bit. Like, yeah, and, and go straight. Go straight down the hall a little bit. What's that on the wall? Turn back. What's that? Right there. Antlers. Yes, those, those, those be antlers. You should be grabbing the antlers and having them as weapons. Dear antlers, could I use one... Those as a weapon? They're probably Wait, not please. in any practical, non humiliating way. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? It's better than your bare hands! Or the I stick wanna... of that's left of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's pointy, it's sharp, it's made out of something hard, it, it's better than what you've got! Oh. <laughs> Where the hell are we? This place is way bigger than I expected. <laughs> <coughs> Looks like some kind of central hall. The Cindy voice does not work well with her face, but I guess we're sticking with it. Yeah. We should head downstairs. Why there first? I find that most exits are on the ground floor. <laughs> yeah. Well, right, right is now muted. I am left alone to govern the chat. Book, quickly, set fire. Set fire, book. I don't see no fire book. There we go, there's the fire. Burn the whole place to the ground. Uh. 
I think I'm also going to restart my computer to see if that helps with the issues on my end. Oh, wait a minute. All right, I'm back. I was about to try restarting my computer to see if that makes things better on my end, but then I re realized I still have my fucking VPN connected. Oh That's my probably... god. I was in Japan. <laughs> yeah. So let's see if that fixes the issues. Alright, looks to be good. Better. Everything all right, by the way? Oh yeah, everything's fine. Okay. I also may or may not have told Book to light the chat on fire. Yeah, I saw it the entire time. Good. Very good. Oh, hi, Bush. Busta, execute order 74. We can't even hear you. Really? Well, <laughs> oh, true, we're you. getting scare bright, yeah. Anyways. Oh, uh, well, yeah. I'm gonna check these redeems. No cursing. Hmm, there's no no pervert redeem yet. I said I'd think about it. Well, you should do it. There's chew loafs. No, chew loafs. Be careful. Bookworm lit the chat on fire. You're gonna get burned. <laughs> How to put out the fires. Use chew loafs. <laughs> no. No, don't do that. <laughs> Anyways. Chew, chew loafs are precious beans. I can breathe fire. It's fine. This is true. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Let's check it out. Are they just not going to talk about this? Like, at what all? You... It's a ginormous symbol in the middle of the room. I mean, we don't need to talk about the Satanism. I'm not going to look too closely at this. <laughs> for one, it's very gross, and I don't want to know if it's made with you know. Or for two, looking at it makes my head feel weird. <laughs> hey, we should head downstairs first. Check for a way out. Failing that, somewhere we can gather our thoughts. Right, sounds like a good idea. Okay, I guess we can't check anything up here yet. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. My... Over there. Room looks... Perfect? Follow me, I'll explain. Okay. This room looks safe. For the moment. Uh... Thank you, Detective Dismal. Wait, that, is that her first name? Oh, oh, right. What? Your character is making an insult. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even know what Dismal meant. You've never heard the word dismal? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Let me just dismal. Let me let me just read the let me just read the dictionary. Dismal. Adjective. Depressing or dreary. Similar. Of a person or a mood. Gloomy. It, informal. Pitiful or disgracefully bad. Oh. Now do you understand? 
why yes. your character called her Detective Dismal. Yeah, I understand. I want to die. <laughs> Chew says, holy shit, this is a game changer. Oh, wait. Uh, what do you mean major new Twitch update is finally here? What is it? Anyways, a perfect cheerful morale boosting observation. Just being practical. You can now block banned and blocked people from watching your streams. Oh. Mm. Nice. I think we should rest for a second and reveal what we know. Then we'll be able to act accordingly. Okay. So, to start, we've been individually kidnapped by an unknown assailant. What? 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 Is that coming through? Yes, we, we we hear you saying what multiple times. No, I mean like it's best is coming through. No, <laughs> we just hear you saying what for no reason. Oh, Festus! <laughs> oh, you asshole! <laughs> Festus hopped up on my bed in line of a fucking fan, and farted so that it all goes right to me. <laughs> Get over here, you dumbass. Suffer with me. <laughs> uh, left trapped inside a house. This is clearly a person with both the means to craft elaborate, dangerous puzzles. And a sick sense of humor. Check the conference room, right? Okay, I will. What's this? Conference room? Don't worry about it. Oh. Lives are on the line, and I've got the burning lungs to prove it. Don't knock over my soda, you dick. Gods, I love you. Neat. Who's my Festus? Well, that would be useful, Chew. No. No. Don't poke me and get your ass out of my face. Well, that sounds bad. <laughs> Is bad. We know next to nothing. Uh, we have no idea whether there's two of us in this dungeon or two hundred. That seems unlikely. You think other people could have been tr kidnapped? This place is too big. Uh, and too many things don't add up for it to just be two of us. Regardless, our goal is to escape. Or as a weird cartoon fish once said, escape. <laughs> we should also attempt to find out who's behind this. Is it Jigsaw? Maybe it's Gordon Ramsay. It would be funny if it's a combination of Gordon Ramsay and Jigsaw. Why would it... Why would it be a... What do you... Uh, okay, you Chew. hurt my brain. <laughs> yeah, cool. I guess if not, Bright, you should turn that on. 
when you get the chance. Mm -hmm. Both to bring them to justice. And for me to bring them to a firm punch in the gut. If we find anyone else, well, we'll do what we can to help. I haven't had the chance to. I've just been way too busy. Like, literally, the second I started stream, I got off work. Like, I just got home when I started stream, so I haven't had much of the time. I'll, I'll probably run it again later tonight. Yeah, how many, how many fake followers do you currently have? Uh, two point five k. Fun. Yeah. Anyways, if we find, oh wait, I already read this. Like you did for me. Right. Sounds like a plan. Wait, what would have happened if I didn't use the hatchet? I would have died. <laughs> and then I would have just been left alone. And then I would... Well, no, you wouldn't be alone because you would have me there with you. <laughs> then just all of a sudden the hatchet in game starts speaking. <laughs> See a small caveat on the viewer block. They'll still be able to watch VODs, clips, and highlights. At least for now. Ah. Uh. Uh. I didn't, I don't know why, I didn't actually know that, I, I thought that blocking or banning someone just automatically did that. No. They, they could still watch the stream? Huh. Maybe it just ban them from the chat from where I know? I don't know. Juno uh, probably knows more. But anyways. Yeah. Alright, sounds like a plan. Let's go. I can't. What? That gas did a number on me. I still can't take a deep breath. I can barely move. Just getting down here felt like I was trying to run a marathon. Oh. Look, I know I'm asking a lot of you, but you're the one who rescued me. I believe in you. We've both got a radio so we can maintain contact. Damn. In the main in the meantime, I'll poke around this room. Maybe I'll find information. <laughs> or another asinine little puzzle, more like. At least I know how to call if that happens. You know, in movies splitting up is always a bad idea. This isn't a movie, and we shouldn't waste time. Alright, give me a moment then. Festus. Oh, it's my Festus. I love him. He is my lad. My sweet fuzzy boy. I love him. Stop banning users from boy. viewing stream. Private. There we go. My fast ass. It's my fast ass. I love him. I, I can tell. There, sad. I added. love my boy. My boy, oh. We don't have the luxury of making the best possible choice. Ugh, this is so bogus. 
I thought these days the kid. Wait, the... <laughs> she starts talking like an old lady, and I start talking like an old lady. <laughs> yeah. I thought these days the kid said, oh, snap. What? Okay, you know what? You can critique my slang when we escape the murder mansion. <laughs> Just promise you'll take care while I'm gone, okay? Don't worry about me. Just be careful. You don't know what's out there. And maybe you should grab one of these fucking mounted antlers off the wall so that you actually have a fucking weapon and not your bare fingies. But oh, that'd be too embarrassing, wouldn't it? Too embarrassing for you to survive. Fucking Idibisol. I'll help if we have a map. It'll help if we have a map. It's not perfect, but I started drawing one. It should be enough to get you started. Are you kidding? This looks am amazing. How did you get such straight lines without a ruler? Keep track of rooms that you think have something left to do. Uh, that way, if you're ever lost, you can just check the map. Seriously, were you an architect in another life? This is this is so crisp. Oh my god, Alex. Focus. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, focus. My fabulous drawing skills are not the issue. Yeah, I probably won't finish this game tonight. You could tell that. Yeah. I've yeah. marked two doors I noticed were open on our way down. Yeah, because I'm probably going to only stream till midnight then. I, I'm just going to head off because I'm, I'm tired from work and I decided to stream. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. I wish I could as, stream longer. <laughs> as good a place as any to get started. Uh, <coughs> and here's my pencil if you want to keep it up to date yourself. Uh, right, got it. Thanks, Taurus. Try and take it easy. I'll be back as soon as I can. Map. What's this? <laughs> Let's see. On this floor, there are four locked doors and one one unlocked door. Fancy. Lock. Not get in there. Oh shit. I forgot which door it was. Oh, there it is. <laughs> um. Uh. Um. Well, there she was right. There's more than one person here. Ow! Festus! <coughs> Jesus. Oh, we got weapons. We got a cleaver. Would that be a mace or a three? Or it would it be given a different name? It's a flail. A flail, okay. So I know, like, um, oh yeah, the mace doesn't have the chains. That's right. Yeah, flail, flail is mace, but has chains on it. Mace is just metal club on stick. Yeah, I can't tell what these two weapons are right here. Uh, well, I can probably turn this off. That'd probably be better. <laughs> honestly, I don't know either. It kind of looks like two differently shaped hammers. Yeah, and those look kind of look like bolts or arrows or something like that. I was thinking paintbrushes. True, and there's also a watch. Okay. Display of murder weapons, less neat. 
says a history of violence from beginning to end. Oh, uh, we probably have to find oh. a book. Death Rider, Ferryman, Psychology. Just psychology. Psychology. Clock Killer. Original. <laughs> Subject. Original. Ah. <laughs> uh. Chew says bark, bark, bark. Why is Chew barking? Subject arsonist. Oh, was one of those like London oh. Butcher? Oh, so, maybe start one reading. Of, maybe one of these is like, uh, ars I'm trying to look to see Crimson Artist, Lumberjack. Okay, so those are definitely axes. <laughs> so London Butcher. Records sh show a startling increase in the number of murders during the 1727 London famine, driven mad with starvation. It was in the environment that the London butcher thrived. Famed for selling high-quality meat at cut-rate prices, it was years before anyone discovered their source, fresh corpses. You know, this is actually... I know they didn't do this, but, like, this is reminding me of another, like, Brit... Uh, Great Britain killer, uh, Jack the Ripper. I, don't we still not know his identity? Oh, there's. I think there's like a couple right. strong contenders. Yeah, but, but it's unsure. It's it's kind of impossible to completely confirm at this point. Yeah, but also open that up again. Seventeen twenty seven. Seventeen twenty seven. So that would okay, be and like that's the, the butcher. The butcher, right. Alright. Arsonist. Okay. Public faith in the police's ability to keep them safe was at an all time low by 1964 due to the arsonist. Hundreds perished in a string of devastating apartment and office building fires. It, it's thought that the Dream Doctor massacres a few years prior served as inspiration, however, as they were never caught. Their motivations remain a mystery to this day. Kind of like the killer of Elizabeth Short. I don't know who that is. Who says Mouse is unhinged, kind of like the killer of Elizabeth Short. Yeah, I don't know who Elizabeth Short is. I don't remember either. Oh yeah, the Black Dahlia murder. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I'll probably look that up maybe tomorrow or something. It's it's a pretty famous murder case from, like, classic noir of uh, Los Angeles. Uh, I don't remember all the details, though. Yeah. Alright, so Arsonist is 1964. I already got that. I'm, I'm writing okay. these down in the um, recording of live scene. Okay, BC. Lumberjack will probably be the axes. I would assume... The lumberjack would invite couples to their holiday cabin in the woods, overpowering his victims. He would force one of the couple to watch as he methodically severed the limbs from their partner. He was eventually apprehended in the late 70s. Authorities were helped by multiple survivors being able to identify to make of chainsaw used. Oh, it says chainsaw. Yes. But it doesn't do, But it's not like the 1870s, 1970s, 1770s. It doesn't say the exact date. Yeah, but we got 1970s, so that's good enough. All right. He was given a Joker smile, and she was bisected with, like, surgical precision and just left in the middle of the road. Yeah, Jesus. It was a, yeah, it was... It was a freaking weird... Right. Christoph H. H. Jefferson, the Crimson Artist, was active between 1290 and 1312. They would kill and artf artfully arrange the models' bodies, at which point he would paint the crime scenes in the victim's blood. Okay, so those aren't our paintbrushes. Those are paintbrushes. Yeah. Several pieces of their art have reportedly gone missing, and while never officially valued, they're rumored to be highly sought after 
in the fine art world. Jesus Christ. That's just kind of like Ed Gein's house. I feel like there's better examples, but yeah. Yeah. Did I say his name right, though? I mean, I think. All right. Subject original. The bully... Biblical figure game, the original murderer, appears in various texts dating back to millennia. Theories of Cain being the son of Satan and not Adam date back just as long. Yeah, I don't think that had anything to do with that. <laughs> right, oh, the, I'm writing it down just in case. Right, the clock killer. Cain. Yeah. Charged with 18 separate murders. What was believed to be an open and shut case ended up being anything but. Crucial evidence destroyed in a fire meant that the clock killer served a short sentence of only a single year before being released in the summer of 1988 for good behavior. Okay, so that's 19. Oh, we got something from her, Taurus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not, despite how far in the past it happened, actual photos do exist, but I wouldn't look at them if I were you. She doesn't know how well you could handle it. I'm pretty sure I've seen worse. I believe I've seen some of those crime scene photos, yeah. I mean, I've seen someone cut off a person's head, and I don't think I should finish the sentence. Uh, yeah, well, I think still... I've seen worse. Well, still, she was just trying to be considerate. Yeah, I know. Anyways, Hatchet. Do not disparage the considerate, too. True. I am editing my... thing. Alright. Uh... Because... I have become annoyed with certain things. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can't close that. The Clock Killer. You mentioned them before. It says here that they're free. Is that true? Released early for good behavior. How? According to this, he's a known murderer. Mass murderer. I was in the force then, and we had it all. Extensive evidence, documents, murder weapons. Hell, I even got them on video. So what happened? It was all destroyed. A few weeks before the trial, a fire took out at the police station. So, yeah, fair too. Yeah, that's fair. I'm pretty desensitized at this point too. Nothing but ashes left behind. That can't have been a coincidence. I'm sure it wasn't. I headed up an investigation. Turns out, our killer was a former cop. Well-liked. Friends in high places, you know the deal. Uh, Jesus. Orders came in telling me to stop investigating. Told me to just focus on my nine... 9 to 5, and let the higher-ups handle it. Did you? Hell no. But wouldn't you know it, I was suspected and put under in- or I was suspended and put under investigation myself. Didn't take a detective to figure out my days there were numbered, so I quit. Best decision I ever made. Turns out my values and those of the station don't align. 
damn, it's almost as if the only good apples end up leaving because the sister because the system is just so fucked. Right. Weird. Why would anyone hang a blank canvas? A placeholder, maybe? Oh, that's probably what we're gonna get from that. Alright. Yeah. Subject: the Dream Doctor. Performing a uh, is it vivisection or vi vive section? Uh, I've heard it pronounced vivisection. Vivisection on a conscious human is near impossible due to the shock. However, the dream doctor was able to keep his victims conscious while uh, while using a para paralytic agent. She would then use a lucitome, a hammer, and pick. Oh, that's probably not hatchet. That's probably a hammer and pick. Like the surgical equipment. Yeah. Yeah. That makes more sense. For extensive brain testing, there were no known survivors. But there's no date. Huh. I mean, it looks more like a hammer and pick. And in that case, where the fuck does the flail come in? Yeah, I don't think we've gotten that one yet. The Ferryman. Tales of a murderous ferryman date back to the 11th century BC. Considered a myth, it is said to have been inspired by Charon. I believe that's how you say it, Charon. Uh, Charon. And, or, Charon, yeah. yeah. The one who ferries souls to Hades through the river Styx. <laughs> Why did you wait? Sticks. I meant to say sticks. Why did they say stinks? <laughs> <laughs> the river stinks. <laughs> Death Rider. The Death Rider is a highwayman of English legend dating back to the early 1500s, wielding a spiked flail. There they, it is. They would wait by the roadside for unsuspecting passerby. Okay. Victims were beaten beyond recognition. Many never identified, nothing was ever stolen, and their motive remains unknown to this day. So 1500s for that one. Oh yeah, we got two psychologies. <laughs> oh so, man. Of psychology of murders. But there's one thing I don't want to get inside of, it's the mind of a killer. <laughs> Not late night reading for when you've been stuck inside of a, inside a murder house. Okay, so never mind, we can't read those. Okay, so okay. first one... It okay, so first one we got here is a butcher knife. I forgot what those are called. Cleaver. Cleaver, yeah. Uh huh. Flail. Whatever the fuck those are, we can't tell if those are supposed to be the medical equipment or super hatchets. Cause so I can see both. Hmm. Given their size, I want to guess that it's meant to be the medical equipment. Right. And we got the paintbrushes and the clock. Okay, so go back to the medical one. The medical one. Dream Doctor. Give a section. Conscious human is meant to do a shock. However, the Dream Doctor was able to keep his victims Continue. Well, the pronouns changed. Oh. Here, exit real quick. Performing a vivisection blah, 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 to the shock. However, the dream doctor was able to keep his victims conscious. Using a paralytic agent, continue. B would then use a look tone, a hammer and pick for extensive brain tests. There are no known survivors. Um, Don't know if that's just a typo or if that's important. Could be. Well, I didn't try to go reading this side. Nope, it says same thing. <laughs> okay, then let's just. Since we don't have a date on the doctor, we'll just assume that those are meant to be axes and say that that's the lumberjack. Alright. 
So let me piece this together. Um, let's see. So chronologically. Oh, wait. Is there a save button? Yeah, we might want to do this first. Yeah, that's a good idea. Save first. <laughs> we haven't okay, done it the entire so... time. Artist. So I have a feeling if we get this wrong, we're going to die. There's a good good chance of that. Yeah. And we don't know if there's any autosave functions. As far as I know, there isn't. Artist. I really like the feeling of this new keyboard. Okay, mm -hmm. so we've got artist. And then death loader. Hmm. I feel like the mm -hmm. clock killer would be the most recent one, probably be last. I believe so, yeah. We got the butcher. There's five objects there, right? Yep, five. Okay, so... Butcher... Uh... Assuming those tools to be the lumberjack... Mm -hmm. Then they're fourth. And then... This is... The watch killer. Okay, so then... Uh, that corresponds to paintbrushes, then flail, cleaver, uh, axes. Oh, hammer and needle. Oh, yep, that, well, you didn't even look at the... Oh, it was correct anyway. <laughs> well... <laughs> If I was going to guess, I would have put it around there as well. So, you know what? Oh, wait. I can pick up the statues. Counter's open now. I suppose I have to take these. Well, technically, I have weapons. Oh. oh. Where did that go? Oh, it's right over here. Oh, oh we got to slide books. Oh wait, there's arrows. Well, I didn't mean to do that. God damn it! I gotta reset. See, there's one that's right, left, right. So maybe you just need to slide all of the books to one uh, to whatever side is being pointed at. Right. Well, I did that. Or not. Hmm. Let's see if there's like a hidden thing right here. God damn it. I'm trying to reset everything. Hmm. Or maybe it's the opposite? Maybe. No. Okay, here. Slide them all back to where they were originally. Let's count these. Hold still, please. So, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on the top shelf. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 on the middle shelf, 5 on the bottom shelf. 9, 11. Uh, hmm. I guess keep looking around. Oh, 
Oh, hello. Oh. That's weird. I noticed Canvas was playing a second ago. Hammer and pick, a clock, and paintbrushes. This must be part of the puzzle. Hmm. Hammer and pick. Hmm. I would say the dates, but we don't have the dates for the doctor. Yeah. Oh, let's see. We've got two picks. Four, and then six things in the bottom. So try sliding uh, two, four, and then six books. Are, wait, no, there's five books on the bottom, so that doesn't work. Right. Here, examine it again. There's a hammer and pick, a clock. And paintbrushes. This must has to be part of the puzzle. Oh wait, I can zoom. Zoom. Would the time be relevant? I feel like it might be. So it's on like uh what was that four thirty five? Yeah. I guess we could try looking around. Like, can you leave this room? I mean, yeah, I believe so, I can. Yeah, I can leave any time. Hmm. Have you tried examining the horse head? What's for horse head kind of angry looking? Can horses look angry? <laughs> Oh, no, not the second. I can't look at that one, and I can't look at that one. Mm -hmm. This note. Slot, there's a note. Not taking unscheduled appointments. Okay, sure, everything else in this place operates on its own logic. Why not? Since none of the phones work, and I have no way to, to call, whatever that it, that is for an appointment, Guess I'll see if I can find something that goes in that slot. Well, if it's medical... Oh, I guess not. I was going to try the medical tools, but I guess not. Chu just saw a video of Mercury. Science is cool. Is that Mercury the metal or Mercury the planet? Right. Oh. It's my flying emblem. It's locked tight. Metal. Ah, yeah. Yeah, Mercury's cool. Seems to be nowhere else on this floor because the other doors are locked. Mm. It's just this door. It's open. I'm noticing that like the patterns on this painting kind yeah. of has yeah. these, like arrows to it. Yeah. And those arrows I believe I believe those arrows correspond to what's on the bookshelf. Assuming. Wait, wait, Hatchet. Hmm? What if it was in the order that it was in there? Because all of these items were on there. What if it was the same oh, yeah. order? Like the number where it was on there. Well, then that's... Oh, oh, okay, then, um... Yeah. Okay, so then that would be, uh, uh, let's see, the top one would be four, middle would be five, and bottom would be one. 
All right. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One. Nothing happened. God that was a good it. thought. Or, or is yeah. this supposed to be like on the other side? It has to be like that. Or because this one. That's that's possible too. So this is five. So that's one, that's two, six. three. That's six. Nope. <laughs> well, as in like, uh, try try doing it so that like, uh, we've got four on. Like this side on top as well. Oh. So put that there. And then slide over all but one on the bottom. Nope. Nope, nothing. I mean, it was a good thought. Yeah. I guess go, go look back at the thing. But the puzzle definitely got harder. <laughs> Chu says, can I touch it? The mercury? No. I mean, I guess, as long as you don't, like, drink it. I don't remember if it, like, can absorb through the skin and cause issues. Well, I mean, if it's heated, probably. Like, liquid mercury probably wouldn't do well against human skin. Like, like heated, well, like... like no, well, sorry. liquid mercury is a liquid at room temp. I, I what I'm talking about, like someone melts down mercury, mercury, and then right, also, yeah, mercury melts oh. at room temp. I was it is at a liquid. It oh. is at a liquid state at room temperature. It was, needs to be yeah. very cold to be solid. I was thinking of other metals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was that's, probably that's... thinking of steel. <laughs> well, steel is an alloy. Whatever. Yeah. Let's try and figure out this puzzle. Alrighty. Let's see. Um... This is very yeah. difficult. I mean... I guess keep looking around. Yeah. I'm not sure if there's going to be anything else in this room. That... Fallen bo books. Examine. Okay, well, books fall all the time. By themselves and speaking of mansions where you've been kidnapped. I really hate this place. But you just, Okay, you're not going to look through them? <laughs> Wait, look in your inventory. Oh, for fuck's sake. It took... You didn't even think of looking in your inventory, huh? Alright, so... One. So, bottom will be three. <laughs> the clock was five. <laughs> okay, so one, five, three. So, gotta move these over. One. That should be five. That's five. I mean, you need to just, like, do a full reset. Well, now you just fucked it up again. One, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Unless, no. Unless the five is supposed to be on this side. Yeah, try doing it so the five's on that side. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got one of the numbers right. <laughs> updated oh pretty empty 
I want to save. What? Well, what those buttons do? Yeah. Let's don't just randomly start mashing buttons. Actually, you know what? Do start randomly mashing buttons. Paintings. Sack of paintings. What are these doing here? Oh. Is it? Oh. What the? Oh, and the paintings are gone. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. That's normal. Someone loves buttons. Oh, you probably have to get them all red or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of these types of puzzles. Fuck yeah! Hell yeah! What the? Amidst the chaos, an angel stands incredible craftsmanship. Is it flying or falling? Either way, that demon looks pissed at the angel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lamia. Well, this Lamia is menacing. Don't think I've ever seen them crawling across the floor like an actual snake before. Chew? <laughs> I know what you're gonna be thinking about. A knight fighting off a minotaur. Is it defending the angel? Minotaur paint. Imagine a giant half bull, half man leaping towards you. That knight shield better be sturdy. Uh, oh, hello. I <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, things have gotten this, got to stop appearing out of nowhere. Is everything all right, Alex? Just checking in. I'm looking at a bunch of weird statues and a painting. An angel, a demon, some sort of snake person. Watching Mercury absorb gold is cool. Wait, yeah. It, she said Lamia herself, and she forgot what a Lamia is. Yes. Your character is not the brightest. <laughs> oh, you mean a Lamia? It could also be a Naga. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Do I? It's Greek mythology. Oh yeah, that would that would track because we've got a Minotaur as well. Yeah. So it it the the fucking Naga would be kind of out of place. Yeah. The Lamia was a girl who was another casualty of Zeus and Hades. On again, off again, marital squabble. That's one thing I always wondered in mythology. Why is there so much incest in it? Uh, wait, where are you? Well, mainly in Greek mythology. I see, like, in I saw, like... Never mind. Where did that even come from? I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know of a particularly large amount of incest happening in Greek mythology. Unless, like, you consider the majority of the, like, like gods that defeated the Titans to be, like, brothers and sisters to each other. But I think that's more metaphorical than literal. Right. Anyways. Yeah. These days, they're mostly just used as generic fantasy monsters in most media. Oh, well, you're not wrong. I first learned about what a Lamy is from Mon Musu. <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard from some people, that Zeus and Hera are siblings. It's his book. Are they? I think they I mean... are. I think, I think it did state that they are. Siblings. 
Oh yeah, Hera. Hera is Zeus's wife and sister. Yeah. <laughs> she was raised by the Titans Ocean and Tethi Tethius. She is the protector of marriage and takes special care of married women. After courting her unsuccess let's see. Why did Zeus marry his sister Hera? After courting her unsuccessfully, he changed himself into a disheveled cuckoo. When Hera took pity on the bird and held it to her breast, Zeus resumed his true form and, uh... Yeah, I don't think you should continue that. <laughs> Hera then decided to marry him to cover her shame, and the two had a resplendent wedding worthy of the gods. Yeah, I don't think you should state what Zeus did. <laughs> well, it does start with an R, but it's not the word you'd be thinking of. But I do think that it is implying a uh, essay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Book said, wait, <laughs> Zeus cut himself to marry Hera. <laughs> <laughs> uh. well you got to learn something new hatchet yeah i i guess i just missed that that <laughs> section i yeah. missed that but besides zeus and hera which I, you know what let's just be frank zeus is so notorious for boning everything it's not even surprising yeah there's actually a uh, I believe at one point he banged his own daughter. Okay, now I'm gonna go see that. I, I forgot which one, but I remember watching something about it where he actually did do uh, that. Did Zeus... Uh... Did Zeus cheat on Hera? Depends <laughs> on how you define cheating. Yeah. Uh... uh of with daughter I forgot the name of the person Zeus disguised himself as Hades and Wait, so I was right? Wait a minute, Persephone? Is Persephone one of Zeus's kids? Probably. <laughs> Let's see, was it the queen of the underworld, wife to the god Hades? She was also the goddess of spring, who was worshipped alongside her mother, Demeter. The agricultural... Uh, uh, Bookworm said, book. "Yeah, it, it it said, yeah, he apparently had a kid with the meter." According to Greek mythology, Persephone, the queen of the underworld, was the daughter of Zeus and Demeter, yeah. the goddess of harvest and fertility. She was also called Kore, which meant maiden, and grew up to be a love, lovely girl attracting the attention of many gods. Including their father. <laughs> Zeus has some real issues. This is what I meant by, by earlier. We need, to, we, need to, we need to sit down and have an intervention with Zeus. Yeah. I, I wasn't... I, I forgot that Persephone in, like, the original lore was... Uh, Zeus's Zeus. daughter. Yeah. Because I'm used to Hades, where Persephone was uh the daughter of Demeter and a mortal. Yeah. Myth. Yeah, we need a lesson. <laughs> we need to. Uh, we need to have. I saw someone mention it on Quora, so Hatchet has the better source. Uh, yeah, I would. I was pulling from like a proper, uh, oh, what was I looking at? 
God damn it, I already closed the tab. I was looking at a like a, a proper source on mythology, I think. Yeah. So uh <laughs> once again uh we need to hold an intervention with Zeus. <laughs> Because that's that's the thing. It's not just that he's getting freaky with relatives. It's the fact that he's doing it deceitfully. It's the right. fact that both times, from what I've seen, Zeus turns himself into something else. And then sleeps with them. Yeah. Zeus has got issues. Okay? Yes, he does. <laughs> anyway, all, all the, uh, you know, all the gods have some issues. You know, like they're not perfect. Zeus has really got some issues. Wait, hold on. Isn't Hades Zeus's brother? Yeah. Wait, then that means he's married to Zeus's kid. Yeah. So, uh, Hades <laughs> married. Well, I don't. Is Hades Zeus's literal brother? I think they might be. I think they are. Yeah, I think Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades are actual yeah. brothers. Zeus, Hades, brothers. Zeus. After, let's see. Hades is the brother of Zeus. After the overthrow of their father Cronus, he drew lots with his Zeus and Poseidon, another brother, for shares of the world. He had the worst draw and was made lord of the underworld, ruling over the dead. He's a greedy god. Yeah. Okay. So I guess yeah, they are they are brothers. <laughs> yeah. And. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Hades wedded his niece. Yep. That's honestly the least concerning <laughs> thing that's happened thus far. Right. So, yeah, I guess you weren't wrong. I was just <laughs> misremembering stuff, or I hadn't quite clicked in my head. Yeah, there's a lot of... Incest. There's a lot of fucking incest in Greek mythology. Yeah, there is. <laughs> like, I remember really weird shit. Like, I remember that Athena was born from Zeus. Like, Athena was a headache that Zeus had one day. And then she came out of his brain. Yeah. But, like, like that's what stuck in my head, not the incest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you learn something new every day. <laughs> my head hurts. Yeah, anyways, let's try to figure out this puzzle. The actual legend is much more tragic. Do most detectives know this much about Greek mythology? I mean, we just learned about something disturbing. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's a fair question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have a hobby. Besides, when you spend all your time dealing with human monsters, the made-up ones are a lot more palatable. Okay, so we probably have to figure out the order. Pedestal. Another uh, pondium. This one's co covered in symbols. What did you just say? Podium. Well, why did I say pondium? <laughs> pondium. <laughs> well, I don't see those symbols. Oh, wait. Oh, the symbols are on here. Oh, my God. I want to kill you. You look away from where the symbols are and say... I don't see those symbols. Anyway, we've got a clear order of things. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the angel will be this one. Right here. That's the angel. Where's the angel? Angel looks like a guy with horns. <laughs> 
Oh, it's like, I'm past it. Guy with horns. Okay. So the guy right there, what? that would be the knight. Wait. Okay, look back up at the statues. Yeah. That's the angel. Okay, look. that is the angel. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's the angel. That's the demon right confused. there. Yeah, I got confused for a sec. Okay, so the knight would be the fish. Well, that was fast. That is not a fish. Well, I'm just... Uh, a tree is, is the minotaur. Then... Uh... Up oh. all. Oh, the Lamy is already set in stone for its not for its symbol. Right. So the last one you will be cup ball. Yeah, cup ball. Oh wait, that's not that's not the, the oh. that's the the demon. Oh yeah, that's the demon. I got confused for a moment. There we go. Uh, yeah. You weren't the only ones got confused by the statue. <laughs> oh. It's a convoluted lock system, but at least those doors across the hall are open. I hope there's something nice inside. I mean, probably not, but I hope. <laughs> it's your grave! What the fuck was that? That's not normal. Okay, so we got here. Oh, it's this door. Oh. What, 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 what? Oh, we've got a new guy. Yep. Charles. Why, hello. Or wait. Ah, uh, yes, hello. I am, as you might imagine, quite relieved to see you. Oh, God. I've been trapped in the goo. You... are you okay? What is this? Okay, my young friend. I am ecstatic. What? Because he has someone to talk to? Why wouldn't I be? Tangible proof of my life's work. I... I... I'm actually quite moved by it all. As the kids say, this is all that in a bag of chips. What? Uh, at least I kind of got right, like, trying to do more posh british accent. You want to guess that this is the guy that we've been seeing, like, uh, research stuff from? Oh, because the guy said his name was C. Yeah, yeah it's most likely. Yeah, C.W. Content warning. Yeah. I don't think they do say that, and your tangible proof is tangibly throttling you. Uh, uh, please. We don't need wordplay. Ah, <laughs> uh, my apologies. I was quite carried away in the excitement. Why is it? I know it's just the graphics, but why does it look like my character is melting at times? Yeah. It kind of has that effect, huh? <laughs> did, oh, did you read this? I was distracted. Yeah, yes, I read this. Oh, yep, yeah, it's yes. him. My name is Charles Werner. Give me a sec. <laughs> I heard the window sounds. <laughs> Ow. Uh, I need to message my mom something. Okay. 
I am a historian in a specialized field of study. Not long ago, I woke up to find myself. As you see me, as you see me now. This has got to be special effects, right? The old practical stuff. What are you? What? <laughs> oh, I. I'm going to get you out of there. I'll pull. I would advise against force. Whenever I struggle, it seems to upset it. Then how do I get you out of here? That's the spirit. Into the unknown with open arms. Granted, I don't have any. <laughs> Hands on experience with it. <laughs> I want to die. <laughs> Please. Fun. Yeet. Please. Yeet me out of a skyscraper. Hey, Bookworm, do me a favor. Do a, a couple of puns right now. I'll just not look at them. I'll say them. Fuck you. <laughs> no. God. No. Computer, please. Use computer. Work properly, please. 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 And I got a message. Phone! Alright. Okay. An hands on experience with this scenario. But if you were to look at your feet... That symbol is incomplete, but it shares similarities with, uh... Banishing circles, prevalent in other cultures' mythos. Good thing I have a mythology expert right here. Huh. Logan says I'm not really thinking of any puns right now. But I'll work on it. No, don't work on it. Just, just leave well enough alone. We don't need puns. Give me a sec. That's my head side. Okay. Okay. I'm back. All right. What were you trying to say? I was going to say, watch Bookworm's last words just be a bunch of puns. Uh, <laughs> if you find a way to complete it, then perhaps... Sure, fine, why not? Whatever. My character does not like him. <laughs> uh. What with my boundless knowledge of ancient mythological ceremonies? That'll be a cinch. Are you all right? <laughs> Not even close, but what else is new tonight? <laughs> then please, have a look around. <laughs> if you find something, bring it to me and I may be able to help. <laughs> yeah, but I've got a distinct feeling that... If I touch one wrong thing, I could be sucked in like him. Touch the walls, Bright. Same so ragged book looks to be a journal detailing someone's travels. Mythical land, strange animals and beasts, fiction, obviously, right? Vanishing book. What does it say? I can't tell if it's, if it's a fairy tale or meant to be serious. It's some sort of travel log, but all the things it describes well, they don't exist. Strange places, monsters. Monsters or demons? Uh, trust me. Oh, that's you. Trust me. It's a very important distinction. There's always some truth in any piece of fiction. Keep it in mind. Okay. 
enemy. Wait, what? Oh, oh. I think there's a sigil here. I've got to move the painting. Yeet. It's supposed to be a sigil. <laughs> if I squint, it looks kind of, of like a weird robot. <laughs> I was going to say it looks like it, it looks like a really messed up Minecraft cow. Yeah. What's this? Looks like a situ. You might need it to complete the circle. So, uh, how do I, uh... You're the demon expert. Come over here and describe it to me. I might be able to identify it for you. Oh, what well, war blind? And there's another one. You say we're blind as if you're not the one controlling the camera. Yeah, this one's interesting. It's an eye or maybe a a bow. <laughs> and another one. Oh. This, this one's simple enough. It looks like a diamond. Wow, these are a lot easier to find. Uh, well, extremely easy to find. It's... I saw it before you, and I'm not even the one. I'm literally on my phone, and I saw it before. Shut up. This sigil looks like a mountain. There, we got all the sigils. Because there's only four circles. Well, what if there's more sigils? Okay, let's see what you've got. Ah, oh, yes. I recognize this. It's the sigil of the demon Malthus. Malthus? Malthus. It takes the form of a giant stork. <laughs> of all things to turn into. <laughs> it's a big ass bird. <laughs> Do you like birds? An artisan. It would build high towers and strongholds of the toughest materials. Oh, you have another. I should take a... You have... Wow, you have four of them. <laughs> I should take a look at it. Indeed, I believe this is the sigil of the demon. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. How do I take that name seriously? <laughs> Legend Ted. Like, th like, this is like if, like, you're in a spooky story and some grizzled old knowledgeable man says, And they tell of the great monster known only as Bun Bun. <laughs> the outfit. This isn't scary. I believe this is the sigil for the demon Fur. <laughs> An enormous deer creature. Yeah, from Deer Simulator. Oh god, no. <laughs> its mighty hooves would shatter the sky. Excuse me. No. Oh, excuse me again. No. Fuck you. <laughs> On the scombs in its way. A third sigil. My, this is quite fun, isn't it? Like an Easter egg hunt. This would be the sigil of Raoul. A crow demon known to steal, always seeking treasure. That's just a regular crow. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, crows like collecting things. They're cool little, they're cool little jerks. Yeah. It's almost as if that might be why it takes that form. Yeah. Its most famous heist was that of the underworld soul. What? what? Okay. <laughs> Leaving it permanently shrouded. In a fire that will never go out. My goodness. A fool. This is quite complex. This is the sigil 
of Bifrons. Bifrons. <laughs> the two faced beast. A master of science and arts. They maintain all the gates and passages in the spirit world. <sighs> Sir, mm -hmm. listen. You can't just be saying shit like that. Like we have any frame of reference for it. Right. And that's everything for now. I get the feeling that there's a suitor. Try to find them all. There's only four circles. But there could be more sigils. What is this? It's moving. Is it alive? Ugh, I'm not touching it. Good idea. Oh, there's another one. It's another under these books. That's probably the last one. <laughs> Not sure what the sigil looks like. A shield, maybe? Yeah, because I'm not seeing anything else. But I'll still look a little bit to see that one right there. There's only one on the roof. Got that have one. You, have you checked under your toes? And we can't move this painting. So, yeah, that's it. That was the last one. Have you checked inside your innards? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's see what you got. Ah, yes. This is the sigil for the demon Andromalius. Sounds like some species name. Yeah. A serpent task with discovering and punishing the evils of the spirit world. Yep, I was right. I think, I think you've got them all. Now, most likely... In here... Ah. My time in the southern waste was all too brief. Chased by a crimson crow. Animating an unbearable heat, I had to flee. I would have wan wandered into the frozen north if not for the reptiles keeping guard. Though unintentional, I only live and breathe today thanks to them. <laughs> Alright, I began the journey in the east. The barrier between our worlds rendered useless by great glowing gates to my west lay a city of great spires staggering tall and blindingly white how long did i stay even now i cannot say okay so the west is the stork right right yeah well you can search through the sigils i imagine this one is this giant stork who took care of the construction scene beat really loved metal so so, let's, all right. So let's go to west. That's east. Put you there. All right. Whoops! I didn't mean to do that. Anyways, all right. So, all right. So east is is a barrier between our worlds rendered useless by great glowing gates. Wasn't there one that said they're they're protecting the gates? Gates. It maintains yeah. all the gates and passages in the under in the world. There we go. Yeah. So that's the east. Yeah, that's east. <laughs> all right. And I believe it said the crow was south. Am I correct? Let's make sure. Yeah, southern ways the crow. So, and so, then that's yeah. the deer. Uh, crow. The Jack tree crow. thing is the crow. You mean the mountain? Or a mountain, whatever. I... Uh, the circle is getting smudged. Yeah. And then... I would have wandered into the frozen north, if not for the reptiles keeping guard. The unintentional... 
I only live and breathe today thanks to them. So the snakes. So the serpent thing right here. It is tasked with discovering and punishing the evils of the spirit world. Yeah. So a serpent. That's our... Well, that's not our one reptile, but it's our... It's, it's literally called a reptile. Boom. Oh. Circle's looking good from here. Think you've got all the sigils in the right place? Wait. Save. Are we prepared now, Alex? Yes. Yeah, I think we're ready. Let's do this. Ready? Yes. Now that you've properly prepared, you only have one more step to complete. You have to visualize sending the creature back, banishing it into the void. Ah, this is, this is it. Proof at last, at long last. Oh, we did get it right. It just walks up and does like a Lego man animation to yeah. bring his hand up to you. Yes, yes. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. Booyah. <laughs> I can't with this guy. I am so re I am so relieved that worked, even if I don't get how. <laughs> My young friend, you are party to one of the greatest revelations of the modern era. By your hand. You've just revealed tangible proof of the supernatural. Don't we still not have proof of that? Or am I wrong? Uh You just you just love to just casually ask the most complicated oh. <laughs> philosophical questions. <laughs> I'm guessing maybe. It's like, the supernatural is definitionally something that falls outside of the natural, i.e. it would basically definitionally be unprovable. Uh. Uh, alongside the fact that, like, it, it, it hurts my brain to even say that because proofs are for math, not for science. <laughs> Oh, I feel like this stream have just been hurting you. Yes, that's most streams, in fact. <laughs> Why do you think we insist on still calling you the cat cowbird? Shut up. Because you deserve some of the pain as well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't, I mean, I'm not ready to go that far, okay? I can't, not for, not for my peace of mind. Let's just go see Taurus. She's, uh, my partner for tonight, I guess. She'll want to meet you. Alex, what happened? Are you hurt? I kept calling you and you didn't answer. I could hear these sounds and who's this i'm okay i'm okay detective torres this is charles he's stuck here like us ah a pleasure to meet you and a detective oh my this is exciting 
Yeah. It's a real treat for both of us. Alex, what happened? Can we lie to her? Mm. Oh, you know, Charles was trapped in a writhing flesh wall. Writhing. <laughs> oh, oh writhing. my god. Writhing. Oh, I want to hurt you. Writhing. <laughs> <laughs> Who pronounces rhythm? Who pronounces it rhythm? <laughs> there were magical runes and symbols everywhere. The usual for here, anyway. <laughs> Beg your pardon, uh, flesh wall. <laughs> Quite an incredible spectacle from beyond. Oh, it was a wonder, detective. Normally, I just talk with my therapist about boring things. <laughs> so this will be exciting for her. <laughs> <laughs> I like that characterization. Yeah. Just like, oh, so how is your day? Well, I had to, I had to, uh... Send a giant flesh wall to the void? <laughs> ah, yes. It's just another Tuesday. I <laughs> used demon sigils to eliminate the meat wall. Excuse me. I... Okay, so let me process this. You encountered some sort of a uh, special effect, Rick? <laughs> I don't think she believes in the supernatural. Well, no shit. She's a detective. Are you sure, you detective? As the person, uh, enrobed by the... <laughs> enrobed? Is that... Yeah, that's enrobed. Enrobed by the matter. Please don't use those words. <laughs> oh, uh, of course. Pardon me. All I can tell you is it seems very real. Alex very heroically banished it and freed me. She was quite marvelous. Well, I was about to give her a southern accent randomly. <laughs> While I believe Alex could do could do something like that, magic monster circles don't exist. They just don't. Okay. It had to have been, I don't know, a machine or. Or something in the air that made you both hallucinate. Oh, I, I suppose that's a possibility. Why are you? What are you holding? It just seems so real, so, so. <sighs> well, if nothing else, this place is certainly filled with exciting mysteries. Hmm? <laughs> oh yeah, real thrill. Edge of your seat fun. Look, I need to keep searching this place. <laughs> Taurus has been going through all, the, all, all these books looking for any sort of clue or information. Ah, research. I love research. My time to shine. Perhaps you'd like a study but. <laughs> <laughs> what is with the characters in this game? <laughs> this game is perfect. Perhaps you'd like a study buddy. We could put our heads together. Sure, study buddy. Yeah. Okay, well, you two crazy kids have fun. Don't stay up past your bedtime. <laughs> What the, what the fuck is this? What? 
these characters both hurt. Like, I, I love them, but I despise them at the same time. <laughs> I'll report back if I find anyone else. Call me if you need me. Do take care, Alex. <laughs> and thank you again for saving me. While I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, well, as I said, I'm not calling you a liar, Mr. Werner. Oh, please call me Charles. Or Chuck, if you like. I've never been a... T <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> These characters are freaking hash shits. <laughs> what is this fucking game doing to me? <laughs> I've never been a <laughs> Chuck before. Charles. All I'm saying is, I've been on a hell of a lot of cases. And it has never, not once, turned out to be monsters. Demons, actually. Very different. Common mistake. But, uh, more importantly, Miss Torres. Detective. Detective. Sorry, but, well... I know you didn't see for yourself what Alex and I encountered, but surely... I think we're all under a lot of stress tonight, Charles. Okay, there's something I've been noticing. Like, randomly when Taurus speaks, her left eye is closed. Yeah, I've noticed that too. I want to guess it has something to do with uh, the scar on her face. Yeah. Like, maybe it's sometimes hard for her to keep her eye open, or something? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I would imagine that that scar could have come from some other serious head injury. And said head injuries have a tendency to leave lasting damage like that. Yeah. And I've already been doused with some sort of gas bonds. That's just the time we... That's just the time we know of. Yes, there is definitely something happening in this place. As soon as we find the people who caused it, my fist is going to... <laughs> my fist is going to happen to their sterna. Oh. Who says it like that? I don't know. But no matter what anyone thinks they've seen. <laughs> it's important that we stay focused on getting out of here alive. Not spook ourselves with stories. But, uh... Of course. I agree with you, Detective. You're right. That's the most important thing. Besides, I can simply summon a demon at a later time and mayhaps cause even more shenanigans. <laughs> and you have my full support, of course. Good. We're too banged up to go snooping around this place ourselves. Uh, and Alex is going to need all the support she can get. 
Oh, the eyes open. Yeah. Speaking of Alex. Yes. Maybe this can handle. I found it in one of the bottom. A key. The top looks like a lion. Oh yeah, there's that door with the lion stuff. There was two of them. Oh, was there two of them? Yeah, there was two doors of a lion. The one that sh got shut in front of us, and then there was the one before it. There was one before it? Yeah, there was. I don't remember that. Yeah, I'll show you. Well, whatever. Right. Try to keep an eye out for doors with lion door. Lion. Alright. Which means we need to go back over here. See? Right there. Oh, yeah. And right there. Yeah, I just completely missed the first one. Trying to see where this goes. A lock. This is a switch. Oh, we got a code. Uh, I don't. Mm -mm -mm, I don't like this. Why? Because we enter this room and there's immediately like a dark rumbling sound, and it's dark. Two whole shows filled with cleaning products. This house has seen some deep cleaning. There are so many cleaning supplies. And I thought my grandma was a clean freak. <laughs> Though, if they have it, bleach can be used more creatively. Creative? How? Combined with ammonia, bleach will release a toxic vapor called loramine. In fact, it's entirely possible that earlier I was choking on precisely that gas. Oh yeah, mustard gas. Yeah. You think that's creative? <laughs> well, <laughs> gotta love a multitask. <sighs> oh, there's wires. If these wires were connected a bit, I could turn the black light on. We need something to hold both ends together. There's gotta be something in this mess. Please don't electrocute yourself. Gloves. Rubber gloves and cleaning cloths. I don't want to know what was being cleaned up. Well, put on the fucking rubber gloves while working with electronics. Or not electronics, electricity. Man. How heavy duty are the gloves? They're, uh, I'm gonna say thicker than my kitchen gloves I've ev ever used, maybe. Doesn't sound like the sort of thing you'd use to work with acid, then. Excuse me? <laughs> it's a good thing. It means we don't have to worry about acid as a rat. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. A potential threat. How exactly, like, I would fall into a vat of acid? How long have you thought that could be a thing? Considering how elaborate some of these traps have been, acid isn't a big leap from poisonous gas. I made mustard gas earlier. And you didn't think to warn me that you thought that might be a possibility. I'm surprised you didn't consider it yourself, honestly. Look, Horus. Yeah. As far as we know, Alex is just a normal ass civilian. Why would their immediate assumption be, well, there's gonna be a vat of acid under my feet at some point? Yeah. My point is, just going by that supply closet, acid probably isn't on the table. Probably. <laughs> Pro you know what? I'm just gonna keep moving on carefully. Hmm. 
Oh, note. Management approved the animal motiv motivationals. They want you to, to ignore the rest. Oh, I wonder if I just look at the ones. Move, find your truth. Inspire, lead by example. Start your chain reaction. Focus, you can do this. Reach vertically. Now, don't wait. Okay, never mind. I'm guessing that does have something to do with whatever we need to figure it out. Who finds your truth? Well, let's look at the animals. Dream, think big, think start small. Trust hard earned, easily lost. Achieve, make something of your life. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, hope anything is possible. Escape, always have a plan. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. We need to take a second. Okay, take a second. One, escape <laughs> is a picture of what looks like a tweaked out cat. <laughs> down hope it's just some fucking groundhog yeah or maybe a prairie dog yeah. some kind of rodent yep staring at you that is hope well it's taped together now what tape saves the day I think this will hold what now is there Okay, so that was supposed to do something. So it was supposed to do something with a black light. Yeah. But I don't see any black lights in here. Huh, why would someone buy so many copies of the same painting? Replacements or set dressing? Yes. Well, I guess we can go unlock the other lion door and see... Oh, and see if the black light's in here. It's one door you have to worry about. Oh. Guess if you're going to trouble of making a fancy key, you get your mileage out of it. Don't see anything out of the ordinary. Well, I can't open that door. There's a peacock on it. This is not what we're looking for at the moment. There's got to be a room with a black light. This always seems long. Shouldn't I be able to see the door by now? Okay, something is definitely not right here. Taurus, hey, Taurus. I I think I'm I'm kind of freaking out a little. I'm um I'm lost in a hall. I <laughs> I know that I know how how that sounds, but I can't find my way out. Ha ha ha! What what? Are you all alone? Huh? I I mean, there's nobody else here. Are you scared? Yes, I'm scared. What are you? Why does your voice sound so... Alex. Alex, 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 Alex. Oh, Tor Taurus? Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. I love how she said she's lost in a hallway when, like, she literally didn't oh. turn. Oh, okay, what the? I just had to turn around and look back. What the flying fuck? Oh, we're back here. What the? F what the fuck? <laughs> hey, Charles, you there? Yes. 
I read you, Alex, loud and clear. How may I assist you? It just occurred to me to ask you if you knew anything about this sigil. It's uh, painted in front of the fireplace on the second floor landing. In, in blood, looks like. It sort of resembles a big triangle with what looks like a pentagram inside of it at at the whitest part. It has a lot of little symbols interconnecting lines in it, too. <laughs> what you're describing does sound a little like a speaking place. Certain cultures would have them, sites adorned with glyphs and symbols. It would allow elders to hear the voices of their, well, the gods, I suppose. Though, in some cases, there were other beings. Oh, uh, but I've never heard of blood being used for such a purpose. Typically, these were holy ceremonies. Quite moving, actually. <laughs> Trust me, there's nothing holy about this. Ah, uh, yes. I might have to agree. I don't suppose you, uh, hear anything, do you? Alex? Uh, no. I don't hear anything. Oh, jeez. Now you got me spooked even more. I'm not going to look too closely at this. Oh. Yeah, it's the same thing as before. Yeah. So we still haven't found that room that I talked about before. That where the light goes to. Should probably find that room first. Locked. I mean, we literally never even went to a room that has a light like that. Yeah. But there's also a code right here. Here, well, click on it. Okay, so it's numbers. And look at the paintings. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I wonder. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I don't think. Because I forgot. Hearts, spades, and everything have different numbers. Never mind. I was going to think like cards. Because I see the heart and spade and the diamond. Oh, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Well, the note said don't pay attention. To the anything that's not the animals. So then, look at the animals. We've got. Dream. Is that a spade? A spade with the, with the bear. Think big, start small. We've got diamonds with the red panda. Yeah. We've got hearts with the cat. We got. Diamonds with the round hog. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Wait a minute. So there's there's two bears, mm -hmm. and both bears are spades. Oh. We've got two diamonds. And the two diamond animals are small mammals. And we've got a domestic house cat for a heart. Hmm. That's only three numbers. Yes, yes it is. Oh. 
There's got to be a clue somewhere in here that we're not just seeing. Look at the note again. Management approved the animal motivationals. They want you to ignore the rest. Mm -hmm. Now look at only one motivational isn't a heart. Mm -hmm. Inspire lead by example. There's no. I just realized there's no clovers. Yeah. I'm not doing a re talking of the gloves. But typical books with all blank on the inside. Either someone is big into journaling or they're just for appearances, but who's? I say, can you shut these lockers? Mm. As, cause there's also only three colors as well. Yeah. This one's really hard. Wait. Look what? behind what? Like on the cleaning shelves. Okay. They've got similar colors to what we're seeing on the walls. But that might just be box standard colors used for the bottles. Could be. It's also kind of hard to see everything on the top. Yeah. There's also more bottles on the ground. Yeah. Has it been filled with brim, not digging through around these? Why are they so full? But they have been cleaning up, and how often? Ew. I don't like the implications of that. Oh, black light, turn on! It was oh right my. there! Oh, I want to slap you. Wait, hold on. Turn that off. Find your truth. Oh. Oh. Well, we've got our numbers. <laughs> we really brute forcing this. All right, I don't know what the answers are. <laughs> uh, okay, now. Uh, turn your flashlight back on. And look at the wall. Nothing different. Well, I know there's nothing different, but I'm trying to think. Like, we've got our four numbers, we just have to figure out the order. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, I got an idea. Yes! The, the bigger fingerprint to less likely you could see the fingerprint was the answer. Oh. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Good thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I found a really heavy-duty door hidden inside of a locker. A hidden door. Whatever's inside has got to be worth keeping safe. See a way to open it? There's a rotary lock, so like everything else, it's got to be a puzzle. And just... You're a proven expert at those. Get on it. <laughs> oh, wait. Look, that shows diamonds. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah, so. Yeah, so now we've got reasons for these. You want to turn the black light off? 
And then is there a way to turn the lights on in here? No, there's no light switch. Oh, okay. None of the rooms have a light switch. Gotcha. So, it said... Prove the animationals. They want you to ignore the rest. Which makes sense, because there's only one diamond and the rest are hearts. So, there's nah. two spade... Two, spades, two diamond and a heart. Diamonds and one heart. But what order is the question? Mm. Could go uh, spade, diamond, look down. Mm. Or is it like from the top, like this? This. Wait one? a minute. I was about to say, it might be like a number pad. So, oh uh, yeah, husband. it is like a number pad. It's one, two, yeah, three, so. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. Yeah. So then, bear. Um, yeah. So spade. Spade for one. Uh, cat is heart. So that'll be three. Wait, what? No. Oh. No, like that in order. Oh no. Do you see? See nine dials, Bright? Shut up. Uh -huh. Then it'll be this one. Yeah, then it'll be a little red panda diamond. Oh, well, oh. okay. <laughs> uh, then, then it's... Then it's Spade Bear again. Yeah! And there's another oh, puzzle. Come, oh, come on! <laughs> no, no, I hate... This better be worth it. I hate these people. <laughs> We're gonna get into this, and it's just... Wait, right, stop. Oh, am I supposed to make a shape? No, cycle around to the different... Cy I'll cycle turn it down. all back. Okay. Now, look at the damn wall. Oh. You've got blue, pinks, and yellows. Oh, it'll probably be like this now. One, two, three, uh, the nine. Yeah. So, blue, so, pink, pink. Yeah, so blue there. Yellow, yellow, then. pink. Then pink, blue, yellow. Yeah! Another puzzle! I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna find whoever made this fucking house. And I'm going to turn them into a smoothie. <laughs> Unless that's the object. If that's the object, then oh boy am I not happy. <laughs> Managed to open the door yet? Yes, twice now, only to find another door. Nope, it's a puzzle. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking... I'm... <laughs> you sound frustrated. No shit. Hell yeah, I'm frustrated. If I don't find a key out of this place, I'm going to flip out. Then I hope you find it. Not sure I can handle you flipping out. And I've seen a lot. <laughs> Okay, so what's this? Ring rotate. Oh, we've got the fucking... They got the fucking Skyrim puzzle-ass bullshit here. Do you have any oh. ID? <laughs> I got it on sideways! <laughs> oh. I <laughs> won't... I, I hate you. I managed to get it correctly, but sideways. Right? Yes? I need you to know something. <laughs> what? I hate your gut. Alright, tell me which I one to click. I, I don't know. Are there only two rings? No, there's multiple. Ah, 
I was about to say, if I got it if, upside down. If you solve it upside <laughs> down, I am going to find you. This hurts my head. Okay, so the outer ring also controls this, the inner ring. That ring also controls the ring directly outside of it. And the center nub controls the outer ring as well. That's a look. Uh, I keep getting it close, but it's not there. Whoops. That made me do that. Hmm. Okay, so the second ring mm -hmm. is the only one that moves independently. Yes. Okay. Which means I think we need to do that one either last or first. <laughs> I did it again, Hatch. Almost. Uh, <laughs> oh, I want to hurt you. Oh, wait. No, the second ring's moving if I press this one. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, if you... No, like, what I mean is, like, if you click on the second ring, it moves on its own without affecting anything else. Oh, no, it, it, it affects the middle. Damn. Oh, please just stop. Okay. Okay. Rotate the inner ring. No, not not like that's that's the dot. That's the center. I mean the ring. That one. Okay. Now rotate the second to outermost ring. That's that's it completed. Well, that's not the answer. What the? F oh, uh -huh. does it need to be the other way around? What's or a... wait, no, no, the center, the center's off. Never mind. Okay, uh... so move, move the center. Yeah, so it needs to look like that. Okay, so outermost ring. Uh, uh, second ring, like, no, that's, uh, we need to, like, do a proper ring numbering. You know thing. this? Yeah, that one. Uh, yeah, turn it again. Okay, now, yeah, turn that ring. And we're back to this. <laughs> yeah, this is the middle. <laughs> Wait, turn, uh, tur turn it back the way it was. Okay, now turn the outer ring. Just put it upside okay. down. Okay, now turn the center ring. Or I mean, like the center nub. Was updated. Okay. Now, a uh, second ring out from the center. No, that's the center. That's that's the center. Okay, turn it again. Oh, I'm gonna have a conniption. <laughs> Okay, turn the second to outermost ring. Uh, 
turn it again. Okay, now turn the outermost ring. This one? Oh, wait, this the, one. The, the outermost. Yeah, that one. So that one turns that. Now, how do we... Okay, now... Now turn... Uh, turn the center thing. Okay, now... S yeah, centermost ring. Do the center thing. Centermost ring. Center thing. That's not good enough. Okay. Okay, you know what? I'm pulling out a pen and some paper. Let me visualize this thing. Okay. So we've got a center thing and three concentric rings. Another pattern on it. Okay, turn the center. Okay, so turning the center. Uh, turn it again. Turn it again. Okay, so when you turn the center, it, like you turn the center clockwise and the outer ring turns counterclockwise. I wonder if Bookworm's still here. Equals. Two, three, three. Counting. Okay, now turn the second ring. Book says I'm still here. Hello, Book. No, like the, the one that's closest to the center. Okay, so turning. Uh, so. Turn. Oh, fair book. So I'm playing another. Yeah, that's fair. Turn one. Okay, turn, turn that ring again. And again. And again. Okay, so turn one turns two counterclockwise. Okay. Now Okay, now turn the second ring, like, or the, yeah, like that one, that one, that one. Okay, so when that ring is turned, nothing else turns. Turn it again. Oh, wait, no, the center turns along with it. Okay, now three. Oh yeah, the outermost ring. So turn the outermost ring. Okay, so that makes Okay, so 
<sighs> okay, so what I've got down is I've labeled the rings one, two, and three based upon their size. So one is the centermost ring. Like you got the center, one is the centermost ring, second is the next one, third is the outermost ring. What we have now is that when you turn the center, the third ring, the outermost ring, turns counterclockwise. When you turn ring one, the second turns counterclockwise. When you turn two, the center turns clockwise. And when you turn three, uh, two turns counterclockwise. All right, so what this is to say is that I think we need to prioritize first getting... Okay, so we need to make sure that two and the center line up properly with the pattern. So, uh, let's see. So turn one counterclockwise, or turn one. Well, that's, that's the, the center. center. Yeah. And one. Turn one again. One again. Okay, now turn the center. Turn the center again. Okay, now try turning the outer ring. Hey! Ah! Yes! I swear, if oh. it was another puzzle. <laughs> oh, it's just a... It's just... Oh, it's an appointment card, so now I can get into that medical room. I hate my life. Clean your appointment card, exactly. Doris, you will not believe what uh, was behind all of those doors. A piece of paper. Uh, Taurus, hello? Huh, that's weird. Oh! Huh. I did not go through all of that laying out and planning just so that we could turn around. Find out we've been Thanos snapped into the void. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's our. How the fuck is it that late already? Well, At least we got done. Oh, god damn it. I went to click on the anomalies chest that pops up occasionally, but because you switched to something else, Steam popped up, letting me know that you switched to something else, and I ended up clicking on that instead of what I wanted to click on. <laughs> huh. You cause all of my problems. Book for last words, go. And Chew also prepare last words. If they're even here. Yeah. If, if the Chew remains. While we wait on that, I'm going to go look at Twitter. Yeah, I, I like how both uh, now the puzzles are both hurt that hurt my brain. I was gonna say, I, I like how the puzzles have kind of hurt both of us now, because of how, how they are. Yeah. <laughs> like that one turn t <laughs> turning one <laughs> literally broke you. <laughs> I still find it funny, the, the door puzzles are obviously my favorite now because just how mad you were because <laughs> we had to go oh. through three of them. <laughs> uh. Good. Yeah, my head hurts. Don't die. You're not allowed.
Like, comment, subscribe, and follow Bright for more annoying puzzles to make your brain bleed. Also, give Bright money if you can, to help her be less reliant on her job's overtime schedule. <laughs> Fair. Did you see that hatchet? Uh, no, I'm on Twitter. What? What's going on? Oh, no. Pokemon used Tangia to do her last words. Oh, shit. Well, stream has been, like, stuck on one frame for me anyway. It was Cort Cortana TTS. And it was alright. Yeah. Ah, okay. Chew. Is, is the Chew here? Does the Chew have final words? Yes. I don't think those are Chew's final words. I still find it funny how that one time where I just said lungs and he just broke out laughing. Ah, shut up. <laughs> like, I only said one word and it just broke you. Oh, yeah, because I got so used to you <laughs> saying the one joke. The one quote unquote joke. Hmm. Also, my phasmophobia streams were fun. Um, but, uh, I kept doing the one thing <laughs> to people who barely even played Phasmophobia, where I would close the door when they tried to open it. <laughs> yeah, can <laughs> That's what he's saying now. <laughs> uh... I also learned how to summon demons in Phasmophobia. Cool. No, one of the funniest moments I don't think you were there for. I went to the um, Ouija board and said, uh, are you here to it? They yeah. replied with no. I was like, okay. So I turn around, the ghost is right there. <laughs> the ghost gave you a fucking sarcastic response. Yeah. That's the exact same shit I say to my mom when she calls to see if I'm awake. Yeah. Yeah, che checking the community tab on uh, Twitch, it appears that I am the only moderator online besides Stream Elements, yeah. so I don't think Chew is here. Alright, so last words go. And remember, kids, when drinking Pepsi, always inhale the bubbles. The bubbles enter your bloodstream and turn into nutrients. But if you eat too much nutrients, your bubbles will become angry. The angry bubbles are not good for your nutrients. I like fish sticks. <laughs> Anyways. Alright, all right, Danger Dennis. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time for your next mission, and, um... <laughs> lions tend to eat the genitals of animals first. Goodbye. <laughs>